Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Northern Line Live Super Show, the Thursday, January 12th, 2017 edition. I, as always, am your host, Northern Line. Join my esteem co host, Rock Lee hey, Smile. Hey, I'm still here, everybody. How's it going? Actually, this is my last one for a couple of weeks, so uh, I'm going to savor this one. This is going to be a good NLSS. That's true. Nick is going to Iceland, the Emerald Isle. <laughs> it's not quite right, but yeah. The, the half of, of that was right. cities as Reykjavik and or Akureyri. And San Antonio. San Antonio. But wait, He's who's that other voice? South. <laughs> that could be anybody. Uh, I'm Bear Taffy. <laughs> <laughs> Was that Icelandic Bear Taffy? Woohoo! <laughs> He's yeah. reading signs again. You know, Bear's uh, hitting 100,000 subscriber video was posted on livestream fail. Why? They were like, well, it was it was labeled a win, and people were like, he's just so happy. But then somebody was like, I don't understand why this post is here. It's just like a dude that's happy. And I was like, you know what? I 100% agree with you. There's been a, a like a lot of that on live stream fails. It's not. It's just like a like not even like a glitch. Just like a weird kind of thing happens in a game. Like a, di a guy dies in CS:GO. It's like, oh wow, he he's dead. I didn't get it. I was like, you know, I check the subreddit every day just to make sure that there's no video of like my wife talking about my crusty socks, implying that I jerked <laughs> off on an airplane into a sock <laughs> and threw it in the laundry hamper. That was good stuff. Um, you know, 99% of the time, that's not an issue. Um, but then this uh, bear taffy just getting 100,000 subs for some reason. Wrong link, Ryab. Oh my God. I <laughs> Don't even start with me. I tweeted the wrong stream. First, it was twitch.tv slash at Northern Lion LP. Then, it was twitch.tv slash Northern Lion LP. Next, I'm just going to say, like, fucking, you know where it is. What are we <laughs> playing today, Nick? <laughs> you got to pare back the Isaac a little bit, I think. You're shorting your brain out. Uh, we're going to be Not playing Afterbirth Plus, followed by Dead by Daylight with special guest Crendor. Correct. And as well, to finish us off for the day, Quiplash, a popular favorite. Correct. Um, let's start with some Afterbirth Plus. Also, Fox is here. Fox is we here. Didn't, we didn't properly announce him. <laughs> no, no, I need no introduction. I am known on the subway as a half-assed streamer these Do days. Do you think yeah. they were actually talking about you? Well, so it was, like, really busy, so I had to kind of scramble out. But in my yeah. peripherals, there was this tall guy, like, Isaac Austin Seed. Height. Okay, yeah, yeah. And I could see him looking down in my direction. <laughs> and I happened to be wearing my toque because, you know, it's kind of winter and stuff. Yeah, so but it's also branding, extra recognizable yeah. in, uh, in a crowd. And I just heard, like, a muffled, like, uh, there's, now there's a half-ass streamer. And I don't know, <laughs> like... <laughs> let, let me interrupt for a sec, just give you the seed, and then we can continue. Uh, we're doing Isaac K nine G six. K G E D P. Yeah. I don't know why I waited quite that long to give you the second part. No, that's all right. <laughs> I understand. I understand how it is. It's not. There's nothing wrong with the way he said, "Took." Okay. Did you know that in America, Fox, you're gonna love this. In yeah. parts of America, you know what they call a took? A beanie, a toboggan. A toboggan, yeah. Oh, a toboggan, yeah. That, uh, that's the. Uh, I think Sinvicta didn't know what a toque was. I on a stream a while ago, and he's like, to he said to toboggan or something. Yeah, are you guys out of your mind? I've a toboggan. I've never heard an American say that, by the way. I have. Okay, I'm just saying from my perspective. Sinvicta's an American. I know he's from Bermuda, but as far as I'm concerned, he's an American. Closest yeah. thing we got, at least. <laughs> red-blooded American in this freaking show and um, he he called it a toboggan a toboggan is a sled yeah, particularly a, a, of the wooden variety that you yep. take down a hill during the snowy season and then you gotta watch because your hand could get under it and cut cut your hand off yeah you could really fuck up your bones like there's no doubt about that watch but here's hands. the thing if you're gonna choose a word that's you know gonna describe a toque but be different I got no problem with that that's no issue. Did you have to choose a word that describes something else that you is commonly referred to in the same season? Like that just seems like you're asking for trouble. Yeah, That's a situation see? where like somebody just got it wrong and then they're like, mm -hmm. I'm not wrong, you're wrong. 
Yeah, let take me that just first go grab item. my toboggan I... and toboggan. Wait, who are we playing as? Isaac, Isaac. Oh, my bad. <laughs> It's no problem. This is like exactly in the right realm of like I want to reroll it, but I probably shouldn't. You talking about the spider baby? Yeah. Not a bad I, day. Item is for babies. So you rerolled it. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna here. I'm gonna take it then. Well, can't win them all. I like divergence in the runs. I think that's fun. That's fair. Fox probably won't <laughs> even live to the item room, so you know there's <laughs> <Hey>. your divergence. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm walking here. So I'm just here to tell you, it's a toque. You can call it a beanie if you want, that's like sensible. Although for us, a beanie is one of those hats you wear that has like a propeller on the top and then you flick it. Can you just call it like a, a hat or a cap? It's a no, it's a toque. You go outside wearing a freaking hat. What are you, uh, wearing a baseball hat? That's yeah, just ridiculous. I don't know, cap is definitely more baseball hat to me, but hat is just the genre with which all of these exist. Yeah. Don't you agree? Yeah, that's... It is in the class of hats. Like, there's no doubt about that. And if I had to lean toward anything, if you were to just say, I'm wearing a hat, and it was winter, I would assume maybe you're wearing, like, the thing with the little ball on top. Right, which is a toque, most of the yeah. time. Yeah, I mean... Oh, it, God, it, I just realized like, there's a hundred like directions for these. You get on your car. It's like, do you get a sunroof or not? I mean, it's still a car. What is it? Can we talk about... Well, let me just ask you a question first. Fox, do you prefer a sunroof or a moonroof? I honestly don't Wait, know. Wait, is what there the a difference? difference? <laughs> Thank know. you. I was just trying to see if any of you guys are, are fake ass, basic, dead ass bitches. I mean, I my am. car has, I think, both? What? <laughs> okay, so it goes all the way back, so it's open, right? Yeah. But then you can make it just like, um, be closed but then it, it kind of hinges up so they're just like a little oh small. is that the difference maybe that's the difference but other than that I, I don't if you drive a convertible do you have all of the above I'm trying yes. to think, like well you just you just have you just have a, a big ass hole you, you got no roof, roof. You you got, got skylight <laughs> man uh -oh. I see you know what you've actually untilted me because I thought that it was just marketing, and you're like, you know, sunroofs are out. The sunroof industry's tanking. What are we going to do? What if we just call them moonroofs? You Genius. know what? It makes, it makes sense, though, because a sunroof, I mean, it implies it's daytime, and it's more likely to be kind of warm. You want to open. You want to wide open, the yeah. The moonroof, it's just like just a little slot, so you get a little bit of fresh air without freezing to death. Sure, it's sensible. Yeah. But, like, does the airflow go differently than if you just had the window slightly cracked on the other side? I feel like you'd get colder faster with the window, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. Straight up, I have never used the windows on our car except to, like, press the button on the parking machine to get my ticket. Oh. Wow. There's I... nothing better than just getting your arm out on the, the side of the door, some good old tunes popping. <laughs> that is a nice yeah. feeling, to be honest. Once a nice day out, and just kind of like letting the wind fly and by. When you get out of the, the, the car, it's like nature uh, blow dried your arm hair, and it's all like <laughs> volumetric yeah, and, and luxurious. That's a nice you know, feeling. Like, you're making a good point here, honestly. <laughs> But I like I my my parents oh. have always gotten vehicles like with a sunroof. And I just don't like like it. Like we'll be on the highway and they'll be like, let's pop the sunroof. And I'm like, can we just not? Like I'd like to maybe have a conversation instead of just like Yeah, it's like, really Bleh. loud. I agree. You know, um, I had hair would like whip you in the face and stuff like that. And like <laughs> <laughs> I wonder too, like, cause you see some of these uh these vehicles and suvs and stuff like that they got these huge it's like the whole roof is is yeah. glass now and i'm just wondering you know what if you get in a car accident what does that <laughs> what does that do for the safety you well, ever you see be... the movie ghost <laughs> <laughs> or you get sucked into hell at the end of it <laughs> no the glass just chops your head off like oh, a freaking yeah. guillotine guillotine oh, that's gross. I keep forgetting I've got to say things certain ways when I'm on your stream. <laughs> I say guillotine, so if you want to say guillotine, by all means. If you want to say guillotine, that's just not Well, correct. that's what I did. I said guillotine at first. It's Didn't not okay. 
Oh, Polly. <laughs> it's polyphemous. The last time in France they used the the guillotine was like in the 1960s or something. Yeah. Pretty crazy. It was when they killed John Lennon. Oh, that's still Which, too soon. To be honest with you, I don't agree with. Sure. What, gu guillotine or killing John Lennon? <laughs> Give peace a chance is a little self-indulgent, but the death penalty? You guys okay. tolerated Serge Gainsbourg for like, uh, you know, 40 years. You can't let these poets and artists get a foothold or they're going to take over the goddamn government. Absolutely true. So just cut their heads off immediately and be done with it. I'm no poet. You're the poet. Um... I, I saw it earlier, sorry for not mentioning it, uh, but Corey was saying how he's he's the top post now with your crusty... crusty yeah, no, I, I noticed that, yeah. I mean, I'm it okay was, like, it. a really, really funny moment, I have to I say. I still, like... I, I don't even feel the need to defend myself, because the implication within the, within the content <laughs> of the speech is that crusty socks are a result of jerking off. I was... When I don't dispute that. My socks were not crusty because I was jerking off on the airplane. I'd just been flying all day and my feet were like mad dirty. Nobody and knew you were on the airplane in that story context. By I the know, way. which, you know, I try to enforce on people that context is important. Uh, but apparently that has fallen by the wayside in, in, in 2017. Well, it was your wife. She did barely had any time to say anything. And also it was just kind of a funny moment that came together. I, well, I'm not, I'm not too, like, salty about it because I think that any rational person is like... This guy's obviously not jerking off on the airplane. That's ridiculous. They didn't know you were on the airplane, so you could have been jerking there off. Wasn't there a... What was the gaspionage percentage the one time? It was like one-third of people had jerked off on an airplane. That's what? Or maybe it was Or maybe it was 12%. I can't... But it was far too high to be understandable. Why? But, like, the... My... <laughs> <laughs> the the thing I didn't want to have to say about the story, but now have to offer in my own defense because it's like cross examination, is I woke up that day in feeling Stockholm, like P. Diddy. yeah, like yes, feeling like P Diddy, as one would, more, more hungover than like I've ever been in my entire life, and I was like late for my flight, and the car was outside the hotel, like come on, let's go, we gotta get to the airport, you know, and then. I, it's possible, although I'm not admittedly sure, but it's possible that I put on the same socks that I had worn earlier in the trip. Oh, in a little bit double a, drenched. Exactly. In a little bit of a stupor. Oh, so, man. it might have been the fact that it was 20 hours of flying that led to crusty socks. It might have been 20 hours of flying in old socks that led to crusty socks. But, you know, the story, I thought, was just better left alone. So, apparently not. <laughs> Maybe you're so drunk you just jerked off on the airplane, though. That's it, unlikely. Into your sock and then put it. I, rem back I remember 100% of the trip home. I oh, watched okay. planes, trains, and automobiles. How fitting. And that movie where Kevin Smith, not Kevin Smith, Kevin James, uh, becomes a UFC fighter. Oh, um, yeah, Gr yeah. Grind it, it to the bone, something like that. Grind it to the bone. What's play it till it's real? Play it to the bone. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, oh, uh, it, it's got like a POD song. Play title, it on so. your bone. Re ready or not. Um, it's Here not I you. Come. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, Kevin? Here comes the boom. That's yes. it. There you go. I knew it had a, like a POD uh, or something. Saliva but in it. The Vin I, Diesel I song. Miss, I miss POD. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. I got their CD up on my shelf. <laughs> you have it like... In a in a glass case. Do you know what it stands for? Do you know what PODs uh, an acronym of? Payable on, payable on Yeah, delivery. you all know it. Okay, that's right. We oh, all grew up in was, the same time period. I thought it was payable on delivery. But that's not nope. as badass. On death. I mean, that's pretty badass. That's the way that like all industry works for the most part. <laughs> I believe it was because they're a Christian <laughs> band and they were uh, they were kind of looking up at like the the sum total of your life experience is payable on death. There was like a weird period when we were used where like Christian rock got an edge that nowadays yeah. seems a little strange. I definitely remember like militant atheists in high school being like, you guys going to the Thousand Foot Crutch concert this weekend? They would They'd sneak like, in, you didn't expect it. They got me with Hope's Fall as well. I had no idea that they weren't secular. Yeah, and no, it's, you, uh, you didn't know Killswitch Engage.
Yeah, that was also more recently I found that out. Really? Like, uh, like last year or something. Actually, wait, yeah. didn't we prove that that wasn't true? No, it's very true. I thought we looked it up and couldn't come up with any evidence that they were a Christian band at all. No, they are. They just have, like, good-spirited <laughs> lyrics. They're just well, positive. Well, that's the way I look at it. Whether they're it's Christian or not, it's just like, they're talking about not being prejudiced and... That doesn't make you Christian! Stuff. Yeah, no, it, doesn't, it makes you a know, fucking nerd. He is Christian, like, they are... Christian. Yeah, but no, being doesn't Christian make doesn't make you a Christian, Christian band! No, like, they've <laughs> acknowledged they're a Christian metal band, like, that's the okay. thing. Well, can you just say that I you're, like, think they did, a Christian though? rock band? Can you... Like, what makes you a Christian rock band? Can you be a Christian rock band with no songs about Christianity? No! No. Okay. You can be a person of any denomination and faith and not play songs that have anything to do with that. What's the worst Christian rock band? And we'll all answer simultaneously on three. One, two, three. Nickelback. Live. Creed. All right. We all came. I don't know if Nickelback is. <laughs> You're not. I, I, I mean, actually I thought doubt... of saying that too. <laughs> I don't doubt that Chad Kroger might, you know, believe in the existence of a of a benevolent lord. Or a vengeful lord, for that matter. <laughs> but um, I don't know if they're Christian rock. I, I used to like Live when I was like... Wait, Live are religious too? Dude, Live is so Christian. Look it up. If, if Live's <laughs> Wikipedia no idea. article does not say that they're a Christian rock band, I'll take back my answer. But I was driving the other day and, and their most famous song, Lightning Crashes, came on. And I had kind of like this moment of realization where I was like, this is the worst song ever written. It, you know, um, so a, a cardinal sin in art is sometimes like being too obvious. There's a lyric in Lightning Crashes where they're like, it's talking about like a woman giving birth and they go, yeah. Her placenta falls <laughs> to the floor. And I'm, that is the definition of like, can you leave something to the imagination? Why would it ever fall to the floor, though? <laughs> You're right. Like, is, though they have like some kind of basin that is she standing, the... squatting with the baby shooting out? It the angel happen. opens her eyes. Pale yes. blue colored eyes. You can't, please save me from this. It's very eight melodramatic. Minute-long song about like yeah, it's a hospital. Somebody dies, somebody was born. Imagine that. Well, you've handled this with tact and nuance. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, damn it. Let the placentas ah, hit wow. the floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it but just really, says is, American is Kill Switch, rock band. Is Killswitch really a Christian band, though? Yeah. I know you keep saying it, but, like, I need <laughs> positive I'm, uh, external I'm sources. All right, chat, you get on the case. Evan I believe live. Is a Christian rock band? Is that true? Sorry, who? Yeah. Evanescence? Evanescence? Oh, I didn't know that one either. But bring I believe it, I guess. Is Bring Me to I actually thought that Bring Me to Life was about, like, a vampire or something. Yeah, because it's in all the, uh, like, the uh, uh, Underworld movies, right? Yeah. And then, like, you know, don't let me die here. Like, what is, what's happening? He's being I don't bitten understand. by a vampire. That's the song that plays when you get kidnapped by fucking, you know, Anne Rice's Lestat. <laughs> He's very know. handsome. That's his thing. Ask, ask Rob. Ask Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Evanescence is not Christian Flyleaf is. is it, what, oh, I like, yeah, I know. They're pretty good, actually. I didn't even. They had a song in Rock Band, didn't they? Did, yeah. Is, did they have the, uh, I'm so sick. In yeah, that's it. With yep. where I live. Okay, just. What about Hoobastank? Not Christian, just bad, I think? Yeah. Kill Switch Engage is Dave not a now. Christian I know, I know band. They're not, they're not, uh... Look, it's not a problem. I'm not, like, upset right, about yeah. it. I just want to understand if that's where they're coming from, because I'd never thought of that before. That's all. That's the same thing as, like, all these bands that, like, we listen to. Throughout our childhood, I had no idea that it was some kind of clandestine operation from the Catholic Church to get us to think that, <laughs> you know, religion is badass. I didn't realize until only recently. Well, have you seen the movie Wrath with John Travolta? The movie Wrath? <laughs> I am Wrath. Yeah, right. that, thank you. I was very confused. That's the one where he wears, like, the worst wig of all time and yeah. is... <laughs> 
Wait, no, okay, let me think about that one, because I saw the trailer, and I'm gonna try to recite it from memory. John Travolta, like, used to be a hitman or something, and then a very scenery-chewing actor plays the villain who, like, murders his wife in a parking lot, or... Parking garage, yeah. Parking yes. garage, okay, yeah. Does this take place in the Pulp Fiction universe? Because John Travolta was an assassin in that. I think uh, uh, nothing for John Travolta has taken place in the same universe as the universe where he made Pulp Fiction. <laughs> where he like lives currently. 14 years. Greece and Pulp Fiction are the same universe. Definitely true. Are Between the Buried and Me a Christian band? No, they're not. No. Is Green Day a Christian band? I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> you sure? Yeah, no. Yeah, God created the Earth in six days. Yep. Six nights, and, and the seventh day seven. was the Green Day. Well, I was going to say, which is the Green Day out of those? <laughs> This runs really strong. I have 28.8 damage right now. Nice. Well, I do 29. Whoa! <laughs> he blew me away! But I haven't had to deal with the devil, but I did just get Goat Head, so we Gucci. I was stunned when I saw that news report that all the members of Green Day voted Republican this year. Why is that? Well, it's just a surprise, isn't it? It is a bit surprising. I really Very can't juicy. put a single, like, bit of, like, idea on what Green Day thinks about anything. Well, it was just satire. Because, like, despite the fact that they're, like, 70, like, all their songs are still, like, we don't like fuck. being rich. Yeah, yeah, okay. Why don't you put out another album, like, Warning, then? That'll, the problem will solve itself. Right? That one was pretty critically maligned. <laughs> hey, someone's got to keep fighting the good fight. Another good. turning point, a fork <laughs> yeah. stuck in the road. I saw that. That was pretty good. <laughs> in the comments, they're all pissed saying it was fake. And they're like, wait, yeah, it's fake, but why is it less funny? It's, yeah, it's, it's still it's funny. Still pretty good. <laughs> There's such a thing as skits. <clears throat> Ask Rip NL Ron. to name some Scientologist bands? That's not a thing. Beck. That might be a thing, but I couldn't name any. Oh, you mean like with Scientologist members? Yeah, Beck was a disappointing one. Beck is all about Scientology. Also, like half the cast from that 70s show. All of Devil's Haircut is actually taken from Dianetics. No, he's like, dirtbag, hacky sack, trampoline, Xenu <laughs> died in galactic volcanoes. My sense. favorite Caitlyn is probably Kato. Not a Scientologist. His favorite Caitlyn? His favorite Caitlyn. Kato. It's, it's probably yeah, Kato. Favorite. You know, Kato Caitlyn? Is it he, vo <laughs> he voiced Scooby-Doo, I think. His household name in this day and age. I take experimental treatment. I mean, like, I was happy I with I, the reroll I got out of it, but that's up to you. I got the high damage. I don't know, man. I don't trust experimental treatment as far as I can throw it, which is actually like pretty far because it's very light. In any like afterbirth analog, you gotta take experimental treatment because you love spun. But if you got spun. twenty-eight damage, you don't need it so badly. Yo, but you would like to have it. You would. Yeah, I almost did, but. You know what? I don't need I it. I get Cat of Nine Tails instead, which I think is a positive. Nah. Nah, dog. <laughs> Thank you very no. much, Harry Shanks, for the 1069 tips. Says, hey, Nick and all, not so fun fact about live. Their album throwing copper was used as part of the torture regime by some notorious Australian serial killers that Holy perpetuated what? the Snowtown murders? So I'm assuming that that's like... <laughs> It wasn't like they played the album and then were like, this is so bad that it's torture. It's more like they played the album while they were like electrocuted, electrocuting your testicles, right? To get, you know, you have some background noise to, to keep them entertained. Yeah. Keep the. That's the wildest Sheila's at the government tip off your, I, I've ever off had. <laughs> Thank you for the tip, but my God. Well, there was that article where, like, I, I hate these articles. Even though they're funny, because it gives the impression that, you know, we live in a backwards country. I got tweeted it so many times that I can't just ignore it. That people were like, hey, is this how the law works in Canada? And the headline is, 
you know, Canadian police punishing drunk drivers by forcing them to listen to Nickelback. And I'm like, no, <laughs> you actually like, you know, go to jail or lose your license. But also that's, I mean, it is funny. It's a humorous premise. I don't disagree with you on that one. I, I like the uh, the mental image is just like, it's like a dad catching his kid uh, smoking a pack of cigarettes or something. <laughs> you gotta listen to the whole Nickelback <laughs> album and then I'll let you go. <laughs> Please, Dad. I just like the singles. They had one recently that went around here that was uh, a cop had found a kid smoking a joint and made him do 100 push ups instead of taking him in. Hell yeah, dude. Now that dude knows how fun it is to work out while you're high. And he's created, <laughs> he's lifted a burden on the public health system for life. Can you imagine how much I never of an thought of it that way. he had after that, though? Oh, he must have been Jonesing. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. Well, you can eat buffet, here we come. Wasn't it 200 push-ups? Was push -ups? it 200? Oh, maybe it was more. Here, here's sorry, a controversial opinion. If you're in high school and you can do 200 push-ups, you should be smoking more joints. <laughs> like, it sounds like you're in great shape. You're you doing got room it. to slide. That's like Michael Phelps <laughs> level. I've never been able to do over, like, Probably over 60 push-ups in my whole life. If you can do 200, you got my license to just keep doing what you're doing, honestly. I think the point was that eventually he was going to get so tired that he has to just lay down face down on the freaking pavement. And then realize where his life has taken him. His drug use has now got him laying on the street. Right. <laughs> you can point back it's, to that. It's a very strange punishment. <laughs> I don't God, know. A lot of people in chat say they could do 100 push-ups. I don't know if I could. Honestly. Dude, straight up, if you, I I believe it. I believe you know if you got a certain body type, you can probably do 100 push-ups. Um, more more power to you. That's amazing. That's like extremely indicative of good fitness. Yeah, his drug use did that. <laughs> yeah, I know it wasn't his drug use. Still, you know, there's this? worse things to do than 100 push-ups, honestly. But how about this is an alternative headline? Uh, renegade cop. Vigilante police officer forces a uh, teen under the influence to work out while he watches. <laughs> that, that'll get some little, clicks, yeah. Yeah, that'll get some clicks for you. That's what's important in this industry. Hey, what's the bouncy ball do? Bouncy oh. ball? Yeah, no, no, I know how that I don't would think I think I've had that yet. Bounces your tears off the wall. I found mm. Greed's gullet the other day. I was like, I, this seems weird. And then it kind of like screwed my run a little bit because I didn't want to have any red hearts. <laughs> I have not seen that yet, actually. Every 25 cents, you get another red heart container. But uh, they go back away when you lose the 25 cents. So use that as you will. Break. Where is the typical chat response? What if he's allergic to push-ups? <laughs> You're raising a good point. That does come up all the time. He could have had asthma. That's true. I mean, you, it's... But, that well, actually, that would be a terrible thing. He'd be smoking, so he'd yeah. already be in a bad place, and then exercising and exerting on top of it, he might have just passed out. And that's why my, like, legal policy is just, like, God sort of mouth. Mine is just never exercised, and I never have to find out if I have asthma. You'd be fucked if that cop caught you smoking a joint, though. Would I, though? Well, you'd be like, you know, you'd be like, do 100 push-ups. You'd be like, I can't. Well, you're going into the slammer then. Like, you're like I'm too weak. Too so bad. Put me Sorry. in jail. I'm too weak. <laughs> you're either... That's how we get a, a, fit, a fitocracy. Is like, only the strong survive, dude. I would just lay on the ground, and then I would count <laughs> the money that is, like, tax dollars being wasted because he's just nice. sitting there waiting for me. Cops love that. Yeah, they yeah. love wasting time. Tell tell them that you pay a salary because you pay taxes. <laughs> they love that too. Yeah. <laughs> that makes me your boss. You're fired. Get out of here. <laughs> I paid for this road. See, the thing is too, because like a lot of times with speeding tickets and such, they have quotas, right? So they're yeah. they're trying they're on they're really gotta be quick about it. So you just take your sweet time and be like, listen, you can give me this ticket. And I'm gonna take an hour, or you can spend that hour giving tickets to actually ten people who don't know the loopholes like I do. Right. And yeah. You look good to your boss, and you get a promotion. Do you know that the quota you? thing is definitely real? Because like I've never gotten positive confirmation that that's really a thing. What bullet thing? The quota thing. 
Oh, it's real. That they have to definitely get a certain amount per month. Dude, I was driving, uh, when we went to uh, my in-law's house for Christmas Eve, we were driving down the interstate. And I actually had, like, a legitimate, like, are we gonna have to swerve, get the fuck out of the way moment? Because on the road, there was a dude with his car door open, and he had, like, a gun on his shoulder. What? And he was pointing it at traffic. What? And I was like, like, you're driving by at, like, you know, 60, 70 miles an hour. You're like, what the fuck is that? Get closer. It's just a, a cop with a radar gun with, like, one leg out oh. of his car. Pointing it like a rifle at the cars that are coming down. I was like, this is the scariest shit I've ever seen. Dude is just pulled over at the side of the road with like a rifle. Or not a rifle, it was like a, you know, a speed gun. But you don't know that well, until you get super yeah. close to it. There's a particular posture that you take on when you're holding a weapon that is just as evocative of the weapon as the weapon itself. Exactly. This is scary as hell, dude. <clears throat> I'm glad you it wasn't a real rifle. That. Me too. <laughs> That's terrifying. I was extremely, you know, displeased about the situation. Friendly. Thank you, Cube Chair, for the $5 tips. As your Pulp Fiction comment earlier reminded me that Spy Kids and Pulp Fiction canonically exist in the same universe. I'd like to hear how that exists yeah. in the same universe. Thank you for the tip. Chat, did you know in Nalftown we don't have cops? <laughs> what do you have? It's just self-policing, like those prisons where the, the inmates do all the... The policing. Oh yeah. Is, what? Wait a minute. Hold up. Where is this? There's uh there's several in uh, I watched this like mini documentary series in South America. I think uh oh golly what was the one country? They showed like three from this one country in South America. It's like the guards handle the initial administration like a week little pat down when you come in. Right. And then there are actual prison inmates that then they have like another room and they give you a more thorough pat down. They actually make you get naked and all that shit and they give you jobs and stuff to do. And if you don't do them, you get kind of punished and, and shit. Wait, what's kind of punished mean? <laughs> uh, I think it's You have like, to do the pat downs if you <laughs> A lot of it is like quality of life stuff. I mean, you won't get paid. You'll be checking money. buttholes for the next 24 hours. <laughs> yeah, like no, like the, the one they didn't have proper like every cell basically just had a bucket and then the dude that was doing the documentary like he was living a, a day in the life he had right. to take all the buckets of shit and piss and then bring them outside to like a bigger bucket and like why not just put do. them in where they eventually go instead of in another bucket yeah this guy hasn't played factorio <laughs> no I... <laughs> you need to no... export your product <laughs> Okay, There's no need for this intermediary. Yeah. His whole job could be handled by a single conveyor belt. Burner arms, though. Yeah. Burner ignite, no. What are they called? What? Injector? Yeah. Inserter? Burner inserter. inserter, that's the one. Yeah, inserter. Burner injector. Siri, shut the fuck up. God damn it. <laughs> Some of the times the weirdest things set her off, I tells you. <laughs> Oh God. I, I don't know if I told you, but we got like, uh, for the Champions of Fire thing, it's like a thank you gift. We got an Amazon Echo. Yeah. And like, it just doesn't work in Canada. Like, you can use it to check the weather. That's lame. It's like, here's the roundabout way. Like, download this um, sketchy, like, region unlocked Amazon Alexa app. And then when you wake up, you can say, Alexa, what's the weather? And you can get the weather. Or you can just look outside and like, you know, or go on your phone <laughs> or something. But you can't use it to buy anything or like play music. So I just got this weird, like, Amazon proprietary hardware device thing listening in on all my conversations. Why do you have it going then? Just unplug it? I don't know. You know, it's prestige. Oh, okay. Send it prestige to me. I could probably use it. <clears throat> I don't want to get fucked in the butt by Canada Post. Oh, that's true. You never know what smuggling is these days. Take it out of my uh, pay, I guess. All right. Well, it's, it's a special gold-plated one. Uh, in many ways, it's priceless, but... Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna go for $2,500. All right, you can keep it then. <laughs> nice. All it's doing is collecting data. It's the next, like, Google. Yeah. When you think about it. I mean, it's it's monitoring everything you say, and it's like, oh, this guy really fucking says bagels a lot. Like, I don't know. What's with is that? What's with that? What's with that? That's the, yeah, the end and goal. Then next, <laughs> you know, 
you go on uh, Amazon and they're recommending books about bagels and you're like books about bagels. Books about bagels. I don't know. Dude, I was pissed. I told you about that soda stream thing where I was like just about to buy one and yeah. then Amazon was like usually ships in 5 to 6 weeks. I was at the pharmacy Is 2 days ago. I had like 100 I there. <laughs> Amazon, what you're really dropping the ball on the distribution here? Actually, dude, you know, uh, I saw an article. Oh, I read the title of the article today. <laughs> it was about uh, Amazon Canada is getting sued for like misleading uh, prices or something oh, like that. Oh snap! It's about it's, time. It's some shady shit. Yeah. Oh. Also, it was Honduras was where the uh, the mm. prison was. Nothing wrong with that. Taguchi Galpa, capital city. What? Taguchi Galpa? You know Taguchi way too Galpa. many things. No, nah, it's just uh, <laughs> this is the capital of Honduras. It's no big deal. Nothing to worry about. It's a big deal to them, I bet. They're probably like, this is our capital. <laughs> I mean, maybe. What is this goodness? What do they know, though? The inmates are running the <clears throat> asylum. Bear with me with the 569 tip says, Hey Mick, in Fargo, North Dakota, a similar incident happened with a comp asking a person smoking a doobie to do push-ups. The poor 40-year-old man was a paraplegic, so the cop decided it wasn't a good idea oh, and let him go. That's awkward. Really? <laughs> you can't do that? I still can't get over that one about throwing copper. What? It was used as a part of the torture regime in some notorious oh, yeah. Australian serial killers that perpetuated the Snowdown murders. That's crazy. Thank you for the tip. Bear with me. This has now become people tip Nick to get, like, information across about horrible mass slayings. <laughs> it's Show a weird is, world, man. It's taken on a mind of its own. Ask NL with the capital of Thailand. Well, that's just... He knows it. Come on. Then hit him cock. in the balls slash testes. Oh, I understand now. Bang his cock. Hey, Fox, do you like dragons? Yeah. Cause uh, Good, because I'm going to be dragging these nuts across your forehead the next time we fight. Oh. Honestly, do it. See what happens. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get me a bite of some grape skin. I've been hearing this a lot lately, nuts being compared to grapes and then having the grapes <clears> skinned, and it makes me really kind of awkward every time I hear it. Well, I mean, I don't mind it. I already have a grape skin rug, so. No. You, know, you can't do the time. Don't do the crime. What would that <laughs> feel like on your feet? Feels like grapes. Does it just grip just right? Nope. It's real slippery, actually. Oh. It makes your socks sticky. <laughs> It's really bad. <laughs> and then they get crusty. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. you have a thing about that's, that's how socks. the crustiness gets created. Crusty. Are you jugglers. sure that's how though? <laughs> Even chat said crusty jugglers the same time you did. <laughs> See, chat, we're not so different, you and I. Uh... Ah, shit. Did you die? No, I beat that run like ages ago. Life's a well. It's a marathon, not a race. Right? <laughs> well, a marathon is still a race, buddy. <laughs> you ever consider that? When is, it, is there like a cutoff? Like if you go into the Boston Marathon and you take, are they just gonna cut you off after like ten hours or something? Well, actually, the Boston Marathon, many people don't know, is by invitation only. You have to qualify by getting uh, below a certain time in some other marathons, and then everybody who qualifies has their name like put into a draw, and they're then selected from that to compete. So the Boston Marathon is only for like pretty elite runners. That's huh. what they tell non-invitees, but I've been invited. <laughs> That's not how it goes. I didn't know that. Is yeah, that the only one that works like that? Uh, I don't know, actually. I'm mean, assuming the Olympics probably works on, like, a similar uh, concept. All right, well, you probably didn't need to say that, but I gotcha. <laughs> but, like, you know, if there's, like, a, you know, a marathon in your hometown, you probably just, like, you know, make you pay, like, a hundred bucks or something to Show enter. Up. Yeah. Well, How much does it cost should... to be one of those people that hands the red cups to people that go by? I mean, you just just your time, probably. Oh, that's a good deal. I don't value my time at all. 
I, I mean, I can't really imagine, like, going to a marathon to spectate, though, unless you knew somebody that was competing. Because, like, you know, it's 26 miles long. You're just, you're gonna be on that course to be able to see them for, like, you know, less than one one thousandth of the time that they're running. <laughs> well, maybe you coordinate it just right, so you only have to be there for ten minutes. I would probably just go to, um... Like a red lobster along the way. Yeah, go to the red get, lobster. Get, get some beers, hang out on the on the patio, and then like as they're running by, just throw popcorn shrimp at them for a little refresher. It might be cold oh, though to stay out that. on the patio. Maybe stay Dude, inside until a, right before. When I think of a good establishment to get some beer at, red lobster <laughs> always comes to mind. Same. They got the best beers. I don't know what it is. Cheddar Bay Biscuits just go better with a Coors Light. Better with cheddar, that's what I always cheddar say. Beer. Cheddar, cheddar Bay Beer. Cheddar Bay Beer. Cheddar Bay. Baby Back Beer. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back. Uh, what the Red Lobster. Cheddar Bay Beers. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. I want to pork Miss Piggy. Thank you for the two months. Is Lynn going to Iceland with you? Yeah, oddly enough, she's there already. Whoa, that's wild, dude. Whoa. I know. Ask her how her flight was into Kiflav. Okay, well, what happens no, if you take right now. Monstro's <laughs> lung with Mom's knife? Uh, I don't know. Just to damage up? Give it, a, give it a shot. See what happens. Oh, it shoots random knives in other directions, too. All right. That's all right. Freaking strong. I've got 47 damage. I don't That's buy it. That's incredibly high. 47? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Actually, I... it just went up to 48. He's making it up. <laughs> I'm not I don't even know what up. you could do to get damage that high. A2. Thank you for the two months in a row. Uh, no, I'm joking. It's 32.5. Oh. You got me. Repeating, yeah. of course. Oh, I can fly. When did I learn to do that? Thank oh, you for all crickets. these tips, guys. I don't think I could read them all out, though, because they're all a paragraph each. <laughs> Thank you. Do it. Why don't you just do it right now? Because there's a lot of them. Just do it. Ouija Monster 5000 tips $2 says a large number of Canadian consumers are within a short distance of the U.S. border, so Canadian department stores have to compete with those prices <laughs> and simply can't do so with the standards Amazon has. That's correct. I believe that, yeah. 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 Although the thing is that the Canadian dollar is so bad right now that nobody would go like over to the U.S. to buy something cheaper unless they had no understanding of how like arithmetic works. Go to the duty free at the airport. <laughs> he said. I mean, if if all you want to buy is perfume and whiskey, I guess that's like probably your number one place to be. But they do have a lot of alcohol at those things. I don't understand why you the like. I'm not ragging on the duty free, but. I don't want, like, if I'm getting on, like, a 7 a.m. flight, I don't want to carry two 40s of, like, Johnny Walker Red with me. Like, where are you going that this is so pertinent? Can you just buy it and go back into Canada? Wait, that doesn't really help you, does it? I, get, I mean, in theory, I guess. Well, well no, It's just like it a shitty liquor many, store. How much it costs and how long you've been there. <laughs> like, a single day is, like, isn't it, like, 200 bucks or something at most? Yeah, so you, you can bring back, like, a bottle of wine or, like, two beers. I don't yeah, it's people not in, worth it. People in Asia love Duty Free? I mean, I I will say that at the Vancouver airport, like, all the signs in the Duty Free are also in English as well as French as well as Mandarin. So, That's pretty sweet. I mean, it's, it's multicultural. I'm not going to say that, you know... You can read you know, the same thing three matter. times if you know all those well. languages. It's a good deal. Oh, I'm Cthulhu? <laughs> it happens, yeah. Leviathan? No, I'm, I've got tentacles and I'm floating around. Oh, sweet. Everyone loves the duty free? I don't love the duty free. I, I, I just don't. I just don't understand. Like, what? I don't understand the purpose, I guess. Oh, sorry. The duty free. There's no duty. That's why. Yeah, but like, don't you save like fifteen percent on the price of a bottle of alcohol? It's don't not like insignificant. You want to but it's save fifteen not... percent? <laughs> but you're you're buying like 
a plane ticket to take advantage of this. I mean, oh, well, you're, you're taking advantage of it as, like, a perk of also having a plane ticket. I understand that, but, like, it just doesn't seem that world-changing to me to save 15% on one bottle of alcohol. Oh, I'm an idiot. They have those cartons of cigarettes as well that you can get for very cheap. Those are supposed to be very expensive from what I heard. Is that like a $20 savings, though? I don't know. I don't smoke. I'm not saying $20 is nothing. Just that for the amount of time people spend talking about the duty free, you'd yeah. think it would be like more world changing than that. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I accidentally mistook myself. My range is 37.25. <laughs> My damage is 70.77. <laughs> what? And I'm, I'm not lying. Did you just say 70? Yeah, 0.77. Do you have like um, brimstone or something? Um, <clears throat> yeah, polyphemus brimstone, like some weird tier thingy. I'm Cthulhu. I don't. Know. I got Cricket's head. Wait. Nah, that'll um, do it. Wait, so the void really is on every character individually? You gotta fight Hush. You don't have to fight Hush. It didn't show up, and I just beat the chest. Haven't you been reading the comments? No. There's a 100% uh, chance if you fight Hush, and then there's like a 15% chance for all other bosses oh. from Mom onwards. I didn't know that. All right, fuck it then. I'm just going. <clears throat> yeah, there the was place. like a misinformation campaign. You were like, once you beat the Hush as any character, you unlock the Void. That's what I thought, because it says you unlock the Void when you do it the first time. So I thought the Void was just unlocked, but still percentage-based. Oh, yeah. Tyrone! <laughs> Ain't that the truth. All right. I mean, the percentage-based thing is very annoying to me. And I'm not going to rag on it too much because, you know, bigger fish to fry. But, like, why would you ever use that as the way to get to, like, the alt path? The guaranteed way is to go really fast, which is not going to be plausible on every run. Yeah. This guy, what the fuck is happening to Fox? He has beaten the chest for the first time ever. 141 damage now. Proptosis? I don't know. I never look at these stats or whatever when I play this game, so it's kind of like... different. Wait, did I... Maybe I meant Void the item is the thing that unlocked? I thought the floor had its own unlock screen as well. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Void, one's, one's Void, one's the Void. Anyway, I'm still waiting on somebody to sell me on the concept of the duty free. I don't think they have a real saw, sell. When I came back from Norway, a dude was buying like a single normal sized thing of Colgate toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> and the line, the line was like 10 people strong in the one he was in. I was like, really? Maybe he just needed the to toothpaste Toronto, though. Man. Like, I get maybe. It, but I've been in situations where I'll, like, I'll, I'll wait in line for that toothpaste at the airport. Yeah? It's the same day as Krusty Sock. <laughs> Why not just get to where you're going and buy toothpaste there, though? Because the longer you go on with your mouth being, like, poisonous, the worse you feel about yourself. Just buy some mints just or something. Go to, like, That's an airport. That's not how it works. <laughs> restaurant. Yeah, eat a meal and then get some mints after it. <laughs> Yeah, that's way easier than just buying a tube of toothpaste. You got me. Pop in the local diner and grab a mint out of that plate they've got right by the cash register. They won't mind. What kind of, a, what kind of an idiot would brush your teeth if you had a, you know, nasty breath? Why don't you just steal a mint from a local diner? What am I thinking? <laughs> and I don't need a jacket. <laughs> I don't understand this. Flam fluid mouth memes, but does not endorse meming. It's not cool, and he doesn't do it to look cool. He's <laughs> considering quitting, fluid? so there is no need to tell him to. Thanks for understanding, chat. Flam fluid. <laughs> what, does that, what does that mean? Thank you, Mr. Clam fluid. No, flam fluid. Yeah, no, I just like saying it wrong. Plan. Ooh, monstrous lung. Yeah, it works with Mom's knife. Uh, it'll work with Brimstone also. Oh, it's a Rob meme. What Apparently that's Martin? a Rob meme. Talking about memes is a meme now? I don't know, dude. Like, I just don't know about this website anymore. 
don't know. It used to be about the games, and now all anybody wants is memes. And it's like, come on. Can it be about the games again? Memes and naked ladies bending over, apparently. No, I really like the idea of Austin becoming a shoulder streamer. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I think we almost had him convinced yesterday. He, honestly, he's, he should just do it as a sub goal or something, because... <clears throat> I'm actually a little jealous. I would have done that first if I knew. <laughs> yeah. We could all do it. We could be, like, uh, the shoulder... Bandits? Yeah, that's a good one. The shoulder, the shoulder gang. Bandits. Shoulder gang. What's another? You got crew, you got bandits, you got gang. Posse. You got posse. Yep. Clan. Clan. Guild. That one's a little iffy, but, you know. Oh, well, I mean, if, if guild is iffy, then clan should just be straight out. We should eliminate that one right oh. off the bat. You got league, like League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. You ever seen that movie? Squad? It's several times. I enjoy it way more than one should. Yeah, that movie's like actually... Wait, Nick, have you seen League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? Yeah, it's been years, though. I don't remember anything about it other than the bowling ball. I love it. It's like my dad No, that's... I... You're thinking of Mystery Man, aren't you? Oh. Okay, I don't know what movie you're talking about. I know that's Mystery Man. It's got Sean Connery. He plays, um... What's that guy's name? Quartermain. Alan Quartermain. And then... You know, there's like a vampire, and there's Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It's basically like, you know, the Avengers pretty much just ripped it off. Well, I guess I haven't seen that. Sounds bad. There, I think Fox is the one who has the right, because it's like a comic or something, too, or a graphic novel. They want to do a remake. Yeah, they, they should They should do it. But, like, I don't know if you can improve on perfection. Are you sure there wasn't a bowling ball like, a big spider in it or something? No. That's Wild Wild West mixed with Mystery Men. That might be like just a double feature you saw at a drive-in in, in like 1999. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. I one shot, shot Blue Baby. Like, come on. I just got Mom's Knife Pentagram on my first Devil Deal room with Lost. That's a nice feeling. Save that run. I have a greedier mode because I need something harder. 17% on Rotten Tomatoes? No, it's, it's good, man. It's a good, uh... They're, like, at the bowling alley, and the one guy's, like, singing a lot. Ah, what the fuck was this movie? There's multiple bowling balls that you can see through that have animals inside of them. What? What, what is this? Man? I think there might have been a scorpion <laughs> as well as a tarantula in there. Is this guy talking about Kingpin mixed with the Big no. Lebowski? These are all still movies that came out between 1998 and 1999, so I'm not, I'm not convinced this wasn't just the best quadruple feature of all time. No, the bowling ball definitely had animals, not skulls in it. They kept going bowling. That's like all that happens in the whole thing. Who's they? Like, is there an actor? In there this were movie like that, three, yeah. three or four or five guys with big mustaches. They looked like the Foo Fighters, and they were singing and, and rolling balls down the lane. Is this actually a music video instead of a movie? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Because they were, it seems like they look like the Foo Fighters, and all they did was sing in a bowling alley. That's like a premise for like a four-minute music video. Was it four and video. a half minutes long? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> was the Were they singing a song by the Foo Fighters? No, it definitely wasn't a song by the Foo Fighters, but I couldn't tell you who it was. <sighs> oh, heck yeah. Does Kate know? And she sent us some Rice Krispie Squares. Oh, Yum. Heck yeah. And then, like, some peanut butter and marshmallow squares. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Wait, was it that song by Lit? My Worst Enemy. Yeah, I think I was talking about the song My My Own Worst Enemy by Lit. Didn't we used to play that in, like, Rock Band? Yeah. <laughs> you know the it. Intro to, like... 20 different <laughs> yeah. movies from the 90s or early 2000s, whatever it came out. How much do you think you could sing of My Own Worst Enemy it's by no Liv? It's surprise to me, I am my own worst enemy. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Every now and then I kick the living shit out of me. Well, you can't say that. The smoke alarm is going yeah. off and there's a cigarette still burning. 
He's Please got it. tell me why. <laughs> My car is in the front yard. Yeah, I think I just like that song. I think you might know the whole thing. Nick, can you just like, let's do a cover band, yo? We'd have such a wide range of songs if everybody from the Fox, band... what do you bring to the table for this band? I'll fucking play the drums. Play the drums. <laughs> what happened? I don't want to talk about it. Is Tomo okay? <laughs> Office is a freaking smallest room in the house. Everybody <laughs> wants to spend all their time in it. No shoe. Thank you for the five bits. Hey, Mal, can you tell NL and Nick that I really appreciate the work they do because it helps me deal with anxiety. I'm glad to hear that. That's good. That the work that brings me anxiety can help you deal with yours. You know, it's probably like a net good for the universe. For yeah, the is, universe. Is Tomo okay, though? Do you want one? Yeah, I'll take a Rice Krispie Square. Tomo's fine. He's just learning bad habits from his brother. Oh. How do I use the void? He's so impressionable. <laughs> and fuzzy. Suck stuff up like a vacuum. The void yeah, is probably correct. the weirdest and most interesting item that they've added in Afterbirth Plus. Like a lady of the red haired persuasion. <laughs> I don't believe Dan was calling them ladies. I think they were just red-haired persuasions. Yo, would you date a red-haired persuasion? <laughs> I'd have to say yes. I'd be very persuaded, wouldn't I? I well, would also have go. to say yes since I am currently. Right, that's that's fair. It's like a red-haired Jedi. <laughs> you will take me to see Star Wars. There's no Jedis with red lightsabers except for Darth Maul, right? No, I like, all, like all Sith. Swords. Yeah. I thought Darth then, Vader is like a green one or something. No, maybe I'm wrong. No, Luke Skywalker's no. got a green one. So Darth Vader, oh, he, kept, blue, right? he kept, like Anakin had the one, which was obviously, it was like, it was blue or whatever, or green. And he kept it for a while, but then eventually he replaced it because it got uh, destroyed. You can, it's planned obsolescence, man. Ever since, the, ever since the fucking Jedi took over Dantooine, the quality of manufactured goods has just tanked. Mace Windu had a purple one, didn't he? He did, because uh, purple signifies um, like kind of like more like balance of the force, uh -huh. or, like understanding the... the I've always the wanted to know more about this, actually, so I'm glad you have a little insight. So, well, I told you, I watch a bunch of Star Wars videos, and uh, that's why a lot of people think that Mace videos? Windu may be Snoke. He went evil because, like, he's not purely good. He's not purely bad. He's got some sneaky stuff. Yeah, but isn't Snoke, like, purely bad? He seems like a bad dude. Yeah, well, you remember... Andy Serkis only plays bad dudes, man. What's a Snoke? Isn't that a this website? Guy. <laughs> this guy... He's not keeping up with the EU. I don't know what a snake is. Now, if we date a case lady from Deal or No Deal, <laughs> depends. Honestly, like, what she got in the case? No dowry, no date. That's the. Is she a red-haired persuasion? <laughs> Can I'm dead. I'm just not gonna start a new round. This is a solid run. Why do you unlock something for beating basement one is the loss, by the way? That's very odd. I don't know. Because, you know, you don't got much, man. Is that man, an these accomplishment? Rice Krispies. These are crispy, man. They're what so other, crispy! What other colored lightsabers are there? There's yellow, right? Um, well, there's blue, there's green, there's red, there's purple. I think there's like one yellow yellow but it's extremely rare it's not like traditional what gem yeah, even was... makes it yellow well they're all crystals that, i mean different crystals i don't know didn't that weird like, lady with spikes for heads have a yellow lightsaber in knights of the old republic oh is that the color they reserve for like the alt characters that aren't in the actual series Maybe i think she just liked it. it really made her eyes pop and the horns on her head really stood out with that crystal you gotta make your own lightsaber, which means you could probably end up with any gem. But if you have a red one, does that make you evil? I think so, yeah. Definitely. It's weird. Wait. Dude, Star Rocket Wars riding. is totally fucked us. Like, what? my perception for what aliens are gonna look like is they're gonna have, like, tentacles on their heads. They're gonna look exactly like us, except they're gonna have tentacles on their heads. 
We're actually gonna meet like some aliens. They're gonna be fucking gaseous, sentient beings. I'm like, oh, come on. Couldn't you just like be a human but have two horns? Like, would that be so hard for well, you? Just to make it plausible for us to date them, I think is why they always look that way. Mm. I want to date you badgers. You gotta be able to see situation. yourself well, in whoever it is. Of them. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Apparently there's black and white lightsabers as well. What? I didn't know. That's that so cool! That's not that cool. How are you supposed to fight in the dark, or alternatively, in like a hospital room? No, but that's the thing. If you have x-ray vision... Holy fuck, that's and amazing! Your, your lightsaber is black, they don't see you coming at all. Now, here's a you. relevant and important question for 2017. If you gave Superman a lightsaber, would it make him more unstoppable, or would it hold him back? I don't uh, care. I just want to think about what a black lightsaber would look like. That's the coolest shit of all time! Why don't you look in your mom's bedside drawer? <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> look for NL's crusty socks while you Does it just it. suck light out of the air? Does it, like, it looks like the negation of light? Ooh, it's probably made of, like, some weird obsidian crystal or something. That sounds pretty This cool. reminds me, actually. I played, uh, what the hell was that game? Uh, Force Unleashed. And there was, a, I think, the last color you unlock was black. And I forgot about that, because that was the coolest shit ever. I did know there was a lightsaber whip. That's yeah. less interesting to me. Well, I watched an episode, or like a video, and it was showing like the top 10 coolest uh, lightsabers. And there's some with different hilts and different designs. There's this one, it's like, these dudes, they have the, it's, you know those canes that you that have a knife hidden in them? Yeah, they got a secret they lightsaber had hidden that, in there. But there's a lightsaber hidden in it, and you're like, whoa. Why don't they just have a gun, like a blaster, <laughs> that shoots lightsabers at this point? <laughs> like, that seems like it would be so good. That would beat ass. Science, well, man. We're going to be back in three minutes, assuming you guys are done to play some Dead by Daylight. Yeah, we Gucci. Black is the first See color you unlock? See you then. There's no DC Badgers? No I way. I want DC Badgers. Yahweh. <laughs> Yahweh or the highway? I, I thought about, I wonder, does like Knights of the Old Republic, does that still work on kind of current PCs? Because I, I haven't so. played that game for ages. It's still on Steam, I think. Sweet. Yeah, yeah I'm going to. Thank you very much, Wolf, for the 569 tip. It looks like you did it twice, actually. Uh, it says there's one black lightsaber called the Dark Saber. It has a white glow around it, so you can see it in the dark. Mace Windu had a purple saber to signify how close he danced with the dark side. So it was like red and blue. Don't know about white sabers. White sabers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was this, like, because he, he used, um, Mace Windu has this technique he does where he can, like, somehow channel the, the hatred from, like, Sith dudes mm -hmm. and like channel it through his body and like harness it or something which like the good jedis they don't use whatever that power is normally or something it's just like oh it's pretty it's pretty cool i don't know why but i find the idea of different colored lightsabers like way more interesting than the whole entire rest of the lore of it <laughs> hey darth <laughs> dude who controls the discord call oh yeah i gotcha can you invite Crendor? i can Uh, change the cannon on this. The crystal changes color <clears throat> when you imbue the force in it. So if you're more of a duelist, it will be blue. If you're more attuned to the force, it will be blue. Oh, interesting. If you have him on Skype, can you just tell him to join the general room and then I'll drag him in? All right, I will do so. Okay, in the that. meantime, I'm just going to say thank you to Music Hunter for the 31 months resubscription. Jelloplex, baby backpack. The Gate, a Wolvi, Quadakai, Positive Grandin, Scratty119, Sneaky Columbus, Praetor Nubis, uh, Red Flag Warrior, Philip von Hammerskonk, Jelly D, and five hours ago, Squatting Walrus. Thanks very much, everybody, for the subscriptions. Uh, I'm going to quickly do the same because I had some early ones. Cosmonauti, 16 months. And uh, Charger, 9559, thank you. And Winning Winston, oh god, that's loud. Hello. 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 
Nick Crandor, Crandor, Nick. Mike Crandor, Hi. Crandor, Nick. Hi -o. Hello. We've talked once before. You were on the show like two years ago. <laughs> yeah, I think it was, it was many years ago. In Back fact, when it was good. Yeah. <laughs> it was never good. Oh. That's insulting. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you get when you invite me on. Hey, uh, oh, uh, hey. How do you make this game? I apologize. Game... I'm very sorry. How do you make this game 1280 or 1920 by 1080? Can't be done. Just give up. Can't... I'm just moving that resolution slider from 0 to 100%. Oh, I assume yeah. 100% is your full resolution of your desktop, <gasps> even though they never explain that anywhere. That well, beats me, dog, honestly. I'll do shout outs uh, at the end of the next segment. That's cool. Just so we can keep things moving oh, right now. Dead Titan. by daylight. Thank you for 27 months. And somebody just gifted me Knights of the Old Republic. Oh, there sweet. you go. You can test it. Uh, Cranor, do I have you on my friends list? Um, that's a question. <laughs> Wait, uh, this is. I don't think so. All right. Uh, no. Okay. I'm gonna send you on Skype a link to my stream, my Steam profile. All right, okay. If and it's then... a Baidu link, click it. <laughs> <laughs> I click all links I'm sent. Actually, um, wait, how do you even get a link to your profile? I don't know, dude. Are we short one oh, person? Just. I mean, we can roll with three and a killer. Oh, I okay, think. sure. Yeah, I mean, we we played that Friday the Thirteenth game with like <laughs> three people. Yeah, that, that one wasn't. Uh, I don't think it was balanced like that. No. no. Wait, what's, here, I'll add you on. Why don't you tell me on Skype what your Steam name is, and I'll I don't know, I'll figure all it right. out. Uh, all right. Uh, Thank my... you, Mawaru P, for the subscription. Now, if you add, if you add that name to your okay. Steam, all right. It should pop up. We have four friends in common. All right, good. All right. I wonder who they are. Friend invite sent. Four friends in common. I, I can't tell because the profile is private. But I'm going to guess that it's Kate, Mathis, Strippin, and Jess. No, TB probably. Yeah, probably TB. That Maybe makes got sense. Because Jesse wouldn't have you on his friends list. Yeah, yeah that we're was, not friends. It's for friends only. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, okay, I've added you. Are you? Do you see me? Yes, I see. Yeah. You. Oh, we've done it. Mission Incredible technology, friending each other in 2017. <clears throat> you know what? <laughs> it's a lot harder than it sounds. <laughs> I've spent you know 45 minutes trying to get that to work in the past, so this is like a start. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a killer, and you guys can join on me. So I can get my kills in before you guys get the rust out. All right. I haven't actually played this game in like four years. Well, I mean, why would you? Friday the 13th was out. Yeah, that's a was good, valid point. Bug free. Fuck? Chad free. New I, mean, I, just, I like I like developers because they're smarter than we are for the most part. But just... You don't have to put in snow in your game. <laughs> just put snow on the ground. You don't have to have it flying around all the time. It just makes yeah. it it makes it hard to tell what's up. Every game's got to have this like one gigabyte patch to add the snow, and then they take it back out again. <laughs> just leave it out. I'm fine with that. It's adding atmosphere, though, yeah. and I really appreciate the ambience and atmosphere that it adds. Well, Shadow Warrior 2, actually, they added winter missions and special winter loot. I thought that was kind of neat. That's what they call it uh, in between periods at a hockey game. Winter loot? Winter missions. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Join on me. Uh, I'm in. Yeah, Nick's okay, in. Wait. Okay, wait, hold on. Friends. Isaac Bebe. That's me, I'm Isaac Baby. Rip it, I'm supposed to ask okay. friend or when are you setting, starting Super Bowl season three? Super Bowl season three. Blood Bowl? Not Super Bowl. Blood Bowl? A uh, Blood Bowl? I don't. All right, listen. <laughs> hey, Blood I'm Bowl. Just the messenger. Blood Bowl on YouTube is very difficult to get people to play all in one week. Uh, and so now I just stream it. Yeah. 
That makes sense. Yeah, it's a lot easier to stream, and then you can play with fans and everything, and then they try to kill your team, and it's very fun. I saw that video of Strippin accidentally deleting his star player. Yeah, yeah, he did that. I think that's like the 15th time he's made live stream fails. <laughs> well, you know, we're, we're catching up then. He's catching up to Casey Tron, but he's not quite there. <laughs> uh, ready up, Crendor. I had an idea. Oh, the red ready, ready button. button. Yeah, All right. Easy, Yo, you to miss. told us about that Korean couple that streams. Oh, yeah, EXBC. And, yeah, and then, like, right after that stream ended, we watched them mm -hmm. for, like, half an hour, and they started fighting in public, and it got really oh, no. awkward. Oh, yeah. Now, they do fight a lot. <laughs> and <laughs> it is very awkward, but they fought so much to the point where it's just like, oh, yeah, they're just fighting again. Okay. It's like you're well. just living in a very angry household. <laughs> <laughs> so Bear getting 100,000 YouTube subscribers and being excited gets on live stream fails, but people fighting awkwardly, no, not so much. Well, they do it so much that it doesn't, it's not as awkward. It doesn't register. Yeah. Right. Plus it's in Korean. Yeah, it's in Korean. So it's like, I don't know what they're saying. But they could fun. be talking they about dance. Korean things. They eat food, they walk around, I love it. I'm gonna go. So Duds, thank you for the bits. This is hey Mal. It's weird. You guys should check out Super Fighters Deluxe. Have you guys checked that out? I've never heard of Super Fighters Deluxe. Yeah, I don't know if I know that one. Also, Mal, if you're kinda quiet. Oh, hello? What is this? <laughs> hello. I was just talking quietly, you know. Just Yeah. Cause it's a and... greatly kept secret right now. Okay, I'm just Super Fighters to... Deluxe. I'm trying get to get in the mode. Easily in this game. Yeah. I just found a cleansing totem. I don't know what that does, but I used it. Did you cleanse my totem? Dude. What is it? Very not cool. That's what you clean your penis with. Is that what they, they wipe their sword <laughs> off on every time? I thought that was just called their sleeve. You guys remember in Friday the 13th how the killer can see you all the way across the map and also teleport, teleport to you anywhere instantly. Yeah. and also have an instant dash and then and then kill you they, instantly. Yeah, when he gets his like, ult, he but can just he can doors. toggle. He only has a certain bar of it he can use, but it's like you just toggle it off and you just have it forever. Yeah, it's uh I mean Jason's pretty strong. That's why they made like 12 movies about him. Yeah. Don't go that way. Remember when you tried to escape in the car, and then you crashed into a tree, and then Jason had to help you escape because you couldn't escape from the tree? <laughs> yeah, and then the car <laughs> flipped over about a thousand times yeah. in one second. That was a lot of fun. I think all my favorite parts from Friday the 13th were the bugs. I hate to say. Sorry. I hate bugs. Shit! Let's not. And say we didn't. Oh, fuck! I gotta get the rust out. Pressing space bar is a lot of stress. Bing bong. I'm like also really bad at this game. Like, I don't think anyone ever survived when I played Friday the 13th. Now, part of that might have been. We no only one had ever survived. <laughs> anyone playing it? Like, nobody survived yeah, I mean, when I played it, too. Come on. Yeah. One of them was Sinvicta, so I mean. Well, we did. You and I survived against Sinvicta when we told him to give us a 10 minute head start. Yeah, and even then, true. he was just standing at the car, like, Ten minutes. Or... We were like, give us a head start, and he just started, like, walking up to us. I'm like, Victor, do you know what a no-rush head start is? <laughs> I don't think you do. Get away from me! Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, slow, slow down, mister. Ah, it hurts. Okay, give me a second chance. i be a good guy. <laughs> I'll give you sucky right. sucky. Stop no, it. No, you don't give me the racial sucky sucky, okay? You got really okay? skinny legs, dude. You skinny leg day? I don't even know what I am. I'm still gonna specter. Don't make fun of my legs. I float everywhere. I'm gonna. Your legs would be atrophied too if you were dead. You know what they say when you have skinny legs? Yeah. They say that guy's not a sprinter. Yep, that's what they say. I gotta change my game name. I thought skinny people can sprint faster, though. Less wind have resistance? Have you ever seen Usain Bolt? Fatty. All I heard he eats a lot of chicken that. nuggets. Not like us. Yeah. Hey, when he what was are you doing? Uh, Alright, can you just... Uh, eh. eh. 
I'm gonna be honest, I lost you in the corn. <laughs> Somebody save me! No. <laughs> Come back, come back, come back, come back. I don't want to be alone when I die. <laughs> God, he's so fast. <laughs> Why am I such a stupid bolt. ghost? How do I heal? Don't talk to me about his same bolt. I hate that guy. That's Why? racist. He's he has a fast? bad attitude. <laughs> yeah, he's all like... Look at me, I'm fast. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. like literally a direct quote from his autobiography. I didn't know he was that rude. He said that to Obama, too. Which yeah. is like... <laughs> what even context would make that come up? Yeah, that's I mean, awful. he just said it, dude. Uh, he no was text. on the phone ordering a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm the fastest man in the world. Suck my dick. Bet I could run faster than you can deliver the pizza. I bet it's that's not worth even like I'm at a few bars. <laughs> oh wait a minute, I can't see. Wow, Get you are the fastest man. Get this oriented in the Ugh, in the corn, dude. Get out of here. Other corn person, leave. Corn, not a Christian rock band. <laughs> I watched that video like. Probably once a year, just ah, oh, remember the good old. I used days. to be able to do all the scat parts from the whole <laughs> album of Follow the Leader, and now I can't remember any of them. That's a great impression. I remember, like, I used to be scared to listen to Corn. Yeah, because it fills being... you with the devil. Yeah, the idea of being like, have you seen that video? Like, dude, that's gonna turn you into Satan or something. It's the same thing with like, uh, there's that Mudvayne video where they they look like the devil Dang, and they're dude, playing the amazing. probably. <laughs> That's the one, yeah. And I was Death like, Blooms? I can't watch this. This is dangerous. Death Blooms is a different. I went oh, no, on, that's a do, 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 do. on a Mudvayne listening binge dig. probably two months ago. Because, it was dig. Um, I yeah, I used to listen to him a lot more. I was like, man. Uh, the funny thing is the YouTube video is like 240p. It's so. <laughs> oh God. The good so old days. Bad. The Bud first Bane album Vivo. was so good. I mean, it, their second one was alright, but they kind of like fell off after that. Now uh, he sings uh, in the uh, Hella Yeah Hell, or Hell whatever. Yeah. They're like a more like thrash rock, metal. Yeah, I can't sort. get into them as much. Uh, or like at all. Big... Um. All right. I guess. Oh, he's gonna get you. Hit me. <laughs> what am I drinking? Just some some DP. Excuse me? Nothing double? like a good shot of double penetration. <laughs> why why Dr. Pepper? Like you've been on a Dr. Pepper kick recently. Not gonna lie, I hate Look. Dr. Pepper, so I don't know wow. if we can get along. Why? It tastes bad. Oh, that's a good reason if it was real. Spices yeah. and flavors, man. Are they really wow. spices? It's, it's I just, like I picture spice? like a chef just like Taking a little <laughs> sprinkle with his fingers into the vat. Yeah, like the chef from Ratatouille, or like yeah. with a turn with like his mustache. Yeah, <laughs> uh, the Dr Pepper needs a little bit more caraway. <laughs> <laughs> He's also Italian. He's, He's so French into Italian. it. You know what I don't get? How everybody they say everybody in the South calls every soda like Coke. Yeah, but I don't get how you can do that. Cause what if you don't want Coke? What if you want Sprite? And you're like, hey, get me a Coke, and then they don't bring you a Sprite, or they just know. <laughs> Dude, I don't, I don't have a good answer know. to that question, want, honestly. Uh, Mountain yeah. Dew, LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I always wonder, like, wait, well, yeah, what if you go to a restaurant and you're like, give me a Coke, and they're like, you know, sorry, we only have Pepsi. Is that okay? And you're like, that, that's what I asked for. Maybe they don't make it in the south. I mean, they only have Coke. Band. Yeah. Well, are you like in in Illinois? Are you pop soda? Wait, what's your well, nomenclature? We usually call it pop here, but I mean, oh, I'm also in Chicago, nice. so like yeah. a lot of the rest of Illinois is more countryish, but in Chicago, in the area, it's more cityish. To be. More we say pop. <laughs> yeah, a little, <laughs> a little more rock and roll. Uh, yeah. I mean, we. I think in Canada we mostly call it pop, but I started calling it soda because I think pop is a stupid name. 
So I say soda pop a lot of times. That's so much worse. Somehow I'll right? call it by its name. Like if yeah. I want a Mountain Dew, say hey, I want a Mountain Dew. You know? Is Sierra Mist okay? <clears throat> no, it's not. All right, well then we're at an impasse. How about what, like what kind a nice of Coke little, would you like? Like a soda pop, like um, a Bose in the house kind of. The thing is, Sierra Mist, it actually does taste worse. Not gonna lie. I don't. I can't taste the difference between those lime and lemon. You ones, need a good honest. palate. <laughs> Strong uh, palate. I built it up every time. If we, well, I don't think we have Sierra Mist up here. Maybe you're the one who needs a good palate. You can't taste all the spices in Dr Pepper, so you think it's. I sweet. can taste them, and they're so spicy that I just <laughs> overloads my mouth. Well, it's like a, it's like wine. You have to serve it at a certain temperature. Yeah. So that yeah, I actually have a, a wine fridge that I just temperatures to where I put my wine. Well, I have a Dr Pepper <laughs> fridge, so. Maybe that's what I need. <laughs> do you have an aerator for your Dr. Pepper? Of course yeah. I do. Quaff. My grandma posted this thing on Facebook, and it was like a classy <laughs> wine glass for when you just want to have one. And all it was, I mean, you could do the math here. It was like a wine glass that you screw into a, the wine bottle after you take the cork out. Yeah. So yeah. you're just drinking the bottle through a glass. And there's so many like shares and comments like, LOL, this is genius, I'm just having one. And I'm like, uh, if if I actually saw someone consuming this, I would be like, you have a problem. Well, if you're gonna drink it, drink a whole bottle of wine, why don't you just drink it out of the bottle or pour the bottle into a glass? Like, are you just laughing at your own joke the whole time? I laugh at my jokes a lot. <laughs> laughing all the way into a hangover. <laughs> there's the other one that's like, you know, this this wine, glass like eliminates hangovers why oh it swirls the wine when you pour it in yeah it gets rid of the hangover chemicals my girlfriend Dude. and chad's so savage she's just saying like that dr pepper's trash and it's not like wine i mean she has good taste <laughs> i agree with her uh dude so all right fun story it's not that fun but it's a story uh i was at a, a douchey uh dinner with I don't know if you know it, me, JT. Oh, yeah, yeah. I heard of uh, it. So he invited me to one of his douchey dinners where he's like, hey, <laughs> come on down. So I'm like, all right. So they give you like, it's like a 12 course thing and they right. have wine pairings with it. And one of the wines tasted like motor oil. Oh. And I was like, is there motor oil in this wine? And he's like, ah, oh, yes, there's petrol. And I was like, <laughs> what? No. Huh. But the thing was, I drank all of it and it was delicious. Really? See, they know what they're doing. Yeah. I did watch recently a couple of documentaries on, on wine and stuff. A couple, a couple of Dr. Pepper. Dr. Peppy-mentaries? <laughs> <laughs> and it's, I mean, it's pretty cool, though. Just the, the science behind it and how the climate affects it and, and the history of all that shit. Pretty cool, man. Yeah, it sounds really cool. Like, when you said that, that, like, the first <laughs> word that came to my mind was, that's super cool. I don't know. It's just like... Depending on the weather that year can totally change the the, the wine. Could totally destroy a small business. It's like how the strawberries can be bad in the winter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Whatever, man. <laughs> I hope you escape. This was like a very slow pace for this game. <laughs> yeah, it's the longest game I've ever played of Dead by Daylight. <laughs> We've been playing this for like 17 minutes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where the other like machines are. I've gotten quite a few loops. I never found more than one or two. There's one that's three quarters done. Oh, Maybe I think I found one. it. Don't bite the headphone cord, you jerk. Must be a jerk. Was it actually a 12 course meal? Yeah, it was 12 courses. That's too much. Well, the trick is, you take a bite or two, and... Ah! Oh, God! <laughs> now, the trick is, you take a bite or two every meal. You don't eat the whole thing. Now, some right. people are going to be like, that's wasting food. It's not. It's experiencing what you've paid for. Well, don't, Otherwise, you're like, going to get full, and you're not going to eat the rest of it. Don't most of them, anyways, when they have such large course meals, yeah. like each course is generally made it to be one or two bites so you don't even yeah have to... it's like tapas yeah it's little yeah like little finger food things yeah 12 well, there was like... courses though 
Well, there was like fifth, like what was it, fifteen people there. So of course, the Sam Strippin was also there, sitting next to me. So if I didn't want to eat something, I'd give it to him. Like Sam, eat this. He's like, all right, all right. And so he <laughs> eat it. And then Dodger was there, and Dodger is just like, I don't know. If I'm gonna try to eat it all. And I'm like, dude, you're not gonna do it. And then she didn't do it, and she was very full and nauseous. And I was like, I told you. I just, That's like, my story. I can get down with like a three course meal is perfect. Five courses, sure, throw me a soup or a salad and a dessert or a cheese or something. If we got up to like nine courses, that's just exhausting. It is a battle of attrition. Well, what is that, like a four hour long meal? It was pretty long. It was like three hours. That's, that's a long, long time. meal. Like when you, you leave, it's time for like a midnight well, snack. It's not even about just eating a like, thing of food, it's about the experience. It's like you're on a journey. <laughs> You know? I told you, okay, somebody else start the yeah, okay, Nick started it. Crandor, you can just join on me, I think, when oh, I okay. get in here. But um That's just too many courses, because like at some point I think you're making it up. Well like, okay, a, a pre appetizer, appetizer, yeah. soup salad, couple meat entrees, dessert, I get it. But what else yeah. are you gonna throw in there? A second dessert? Yes, they did have two desserts. Yeah. That it makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Watch the show uh, Chef's Table on Netflix. And yeah, they have, like, I have they watched that. a couple that. other seasons. Uh, they did one more recently of, like, specifically of France and shit. It's cool. I mean, some of yeah. it does seem pretentious a bit, but, like... Yeah, it is. No. Sometimes you gotta be, like, a food douche. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's gotta, like, try it out once. But you see, go back like... Just eating, whatever. There's the one guy from uh, Sweden. Is like Magnus something. I can't remember his last yeah, name. Yeah, it sounds it sounds legit. He goes Magnus out to from Sweden. Nature and he collects like. Um, yeah, I saw that like guy. Spruce twigs and and <laughs> and shit and like moss and all that. And, and he, shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> it probably quite literally. In That's some like the guy. Where I think he started the show, like beating a like piece of like meat like on a stick in the like snow. <laughs> I don't remember. Like he is just like pulverizing meat in the snow, and he's like, "This is how we hit the meat." Yeah, the one dish. I, well, as this is related, not the the same show. It was uh, what's the one that Anthony Bourdain? It's like a executive. No producer. reservations. No, no, no. No, he's it's, got another uh, one. Uh, something layover. Mind in it. Some reservations. No. Nope. No, nope, no. Nope. We don't take reservations. Starring creative. Anthony Bourdain. Crafting mind, creative mind. I don't know. Something minds. But anyways, it has this guy in it. And he gets a bunch of, uh, like, decaying birch leaves from the snowy forest. And then he has these three small potatoes. And then he puts them all in a boiling pot of water and, like, boils them. And then he takes the leaves out, kind of dries them a little bit, and makes a... a Puts them in a bowl and then puts the three potatoes in it and then kind of covers it with more leaves so that you have to like Are you when still they bring you the bowl going with this it. story i can't follow it <laughs> basically he cooks leaves and potatoes together okay. and then he puts them all in a bowl and makes you like sift through the leaves to to find the, the yeah. potatoes See, he's like, like he's creating <laughs> an adventure. This shit. Yeah, this he's creating like a food experience of Pretty shif advanced. sifting through some leaves to find food. You're foraging in a in an artificial setting. Well, it's like there's that restaurant that's I don't know if it's a trend anymore, but for a while it was like sweeping the world. Yeah, Burger King. Burger King specifically, known in Australia as Hungry Jacks. Mm -hmm. um, no, but it's like you know, hey, come to our restaurant. You just eat in the dark. You can taste the food better. What if I just went to like a really good restaurant and closed my eyes? You don't understand. It's not the same experience. Yeah, that's Do, you, do your waiters whopper. wear night vision goggles at the restaurant that you go to? <laughs> oh my god, by the way, I saw a Burger King commercial, right? And they're like two Whoppers for $10. And I'm like, right. that sounds like what two like Whopper meals would cost like separately by themselves. And they're just kind of throwing it together and being like, hey, look at this special we've got. You're getting two it sounds Whopper even more meals expensive. for 10 bucks? <laughs> yeah. Like, I feel like a Whopper meal America. itself is, like, $4. To get so a Big Mac meal in Canada, I think it's it's at least seven ninety nine plus tax. Jesus. Box, box, get out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to wiggle out, I think. Unless you weren't wiggling to begin with. How can you tell? 
Yeah, fast food is expensive here, man. If Kate and I both eat at McDonald's, that's gonna be like 17, 18 bucks. What? My, our dollar is worth like, you know, 70 cents compared to yours, but still. Your nugget values uh, are off the chart in Canada. I can't believe they're so expensive. Yeah, it, no, it's crazy. Like, one chicken nugget bucks is like is what 60 I paid cents. For, fi for 50. That's 60, insane. actually, 60, and you were way over that. I mean, they're not American dollars. I'm just saying. Like, I'll pay it because they've got the uh, they got the kiosks now. I respect the kiosk. The kiosk. You don't have the kiosk in America yeah, yet. No. I've never seen you, one, but I know you, you love just, it. Yeah, you just cool. go up and punch in your order, and then when you're done, you pay there, and it ships it back to the kitchen, and then, you know, a robot that replaced ten human jobs just comes out and is like, "Here's your food." <laughs> Are you customer number 1406-17? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> just says my mama named me. I'm and picturing the robot the from Fallout with the little, like, jets behind it carrying yep. a tray. <laughs> I love the kiosk, man. Nick, I also have a terrible story to tell you. And the, oh, no. the background for Is it about Crendor, an ATM? Yes, <laughs> it is. How did I the guess? Background for, the background for Crendor, I don't want to... You know, put you on the spot necessarily, right. but um, you know, I live in the 21st century, so whenever possible, I try to bank at what is known as an ATM. Maybe right. part of it. I um, so some of the other people in this call prefer either the human warmth or the peace of mind of uh, dealing with a human teller. Mm -hmm. I go up to the teller because we were at the bank last week to deposit a check. I'm not going to give the value, but the check had a three at the front of it. Whoa. Huh. Right? Looks like an so eight. I give, it, I give it to the lady, and she goes, okay, like, I'll just deposit this check. Here oh. you go, here's your receipt. And I look at the receipt, and it has an eight in front of it. So it's like almost triple the cost of the uh, of the actual check to begin with. And I was like, hey, that's that's supposed to be a three, not an eight. And she's like, oh, that's, that's a problem. So <laughs> they, had, like, they had to void the transaction. I was there for like another ten minutes. Robots wouldn't have done that. Robots would not have done that. I agree. Wait, that was the big sad story? Like 10 minutes? Yeah, you're so worried that the ATM's gonna make a mistake. This lady made a mistake that. 10 minutes is nothing compared to if it eats your check at the ATM. That's gonna take yeah, hours. If, if I really? had only done what I always do, which is like glance over the receipt and be like, yeah, she knows what she's doing. How hard could it be? That would have been a problem. We just need a world like Wally. -E. Absolutely. Where we're all fat and floating in a space station? A Wally yeah. world, if you will. <laughs> we don't have jobs anymore. We're the closest I think anybody gets to that right now. And that's, yeah, that's what makes me true. proud. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, don't worry, I'm not coming to help you. Robots hey. not doing that is a negative. You could have had some extra money. Don't worry. I don't think that's how yeah. that works. I think the, I think the company that issued the check might be a little displeased. <laughs> They'd be like, hey, we sponsored you for $3, not $8. What, we, we made him money? You just go up to the bank teller and be like, hey, you want to you wanna cut? Just change this uh, 3 and do an 8. You can have half. <laughs> and then shut down. <laughs> That's all you got to do to get free money these days. I'm in the change in 3s to 8s business. I had a friend try to deposit a check for 3000 and the teller, or for 300 and the teller put it in as 3000 Bank error in your favor. So you just get that money for free then, right? That's how right, that goes. Yeah. The mint just prints a little extra that year to balance the books. It's like Coin Heist. It is exactly it like Coin print Heist. Print a few erroneous coins and sell them <laughs> off on eBay. All right, I got a question for Crendor. Okay. All right. Mustard. <laughs> I knew it. All right. Mustard. Tell me, tell me what you think of it. Uh, what kind of mustard? Let's start with Dijon. Not a fan. What about honey mustard? Honey mustard, sometimes it's good. Maybe on like a chicken sandwich. What about That's a here? whole different can of worms there. Yeah. Boy. You ever hear of a chicken burger? Yes. <laughs> In Just England, when I went, I said, I'd like a chicken sandwich, please. And they Just said, you mean a eggs. chicken burger? And I said, no. So it is a, it's a Commonwealth thing. A burger is ground up. I can see your. No, thing. a chicken burger is not necessarily made yes. of ground chicken. Yes, getting off the mustard topic now. No. All right, all right, you can get back to mustard. <laughs> I like yellow mustard. 
I put that on sandwiches, like chicken sandwiches. I am, but like, how? What is the chicken sandwich made of? Is it breaded and deep fried? No, just like a normal. You got your two pieces of bread. Okay. You got your meat. You got your lettuce. Maybe you it's can't slow down. Onion. What kind of meat is it? It can be whatever you want. It can be turkey. It can be chicken. Yeah, turkey. I like turkey. That's Turkey's my a good, a good option. Hell turkey yeah. Swiss. A little bit of mayo, some lettuce, right. tomato. I'm not a big mayo fan. Wow. Just a little bit. Oh. Friend, or you want to <laughs> make me wanna angry? Me <laughs> um, you should you should click kill your friends and then. Oh, uh, okay. bread I'll, by I'll join on you. you <laughs> Wait, well, yeah, we got so most. many questions. It's like, Crandor's like your uncle from overseas that when yeah. he talks like all the kids are like <laughs> uncle Crandor in yeah. america do you eat fish and chips with a knife and fork or with your hands? i was just gonna say who's gonna be the one to ask <laughs> well, oh well we don't actually eat fish and chips here <laughs> what this is a complete You're missing out on unexpected twist that seems un-american dude not gonna lie fish and chips here is awful and then when we went to london and ate it I was like, oh my god, this is like a hundred times better than anything I've ever eaten in America. Yeah. Like a hundred times. Did you eat times. it with a knife and fork or with your hands? I ate it with my hands. Oh my god. I wasn't a yeah, savage. Yeah, welcome to Team Hands. You know that... Oh. Yeah. It makes you a savage. <laughs> yeah, that's just the definition of a savage. Apparently you it's know? a Canadian thing to eat it with your hands. It's not oh, a Canadian It's not, thing. it crosses Let all me. boundaries of geography. <laughs> like... I just know I don't. Scotland I don't and England and all them are like half and half from what I could gauge. It depends on where you live there, but it's like... Oh. If you're not eating fish and chips with a knife and fork, you're not living at all, as far as I'm concerned. Mm. Anyway. Uh, I don't know. What's, what's the question again? Yeah, okay. The question is, when you go to the deli counter at the grocery store, <laughs> all right, Third how, how many meats is it acceptable to get? Um... Well, usually, I would say you get like a half a pound max. Okay. Maybe awesome. if, you're, get if you're like pounds. stacking up for the winter, you can go for a pound. Right. Wait, do you actually order in pounds instead of grams? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You'd be like, give me a half pound of turkey? That's exactly yeah. what I say. You, you can just do that blew in my too, right? mind. And I also regularly get a full pound of turkey even when I'm not stocking up. Well, what's a full pound? It's like 400 grams, right? Nobody I don't knows. know what... I don't Nobody know. knows. Gram. My my standard gramage is like three hundreds or three hundred. Like gram crackers. There's like five sandwiches in in a pound, roughly. I use a very simple rule of thumb: is for like normal lunch meat cuts, you put three slices on each sandwich. I load them up. I, just, I stack it tall. I just say, uh, uh, like one hundred grams. That's 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 good for a, a decent sandwich, is my. Do you, you weigh out right. your sandwiches? No, I'm just saying, like, because I order by 100 grams usually. Okay. Right? I'll be like. You don't have to me... order by 100 grams. You could you could tell them, like, if you wanted to be an asshole, you could be like, give me 217 grams. No, I I know. They won't I'm give not you an that. Asshole, so. Do you ever have it? You'll be like. Any of this means. You'll be like, give me. I guess it's different if you order half a There's pound, but two point two hey, give me th give me three hundred grams, uh, and then they like weigh it out, and they're at like two ninety seven, and they're like, is that okay? No. Yeah, they don't even ask. Here, they'll oh, just get close and just wrap it up. What well, are you gonna be like? Could you give me one thirtieth of another slice, please, to make it exact? <laughs> Well, sometimes they do ask. So I was like, can I get a half pound of that potato salad you got there? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's like, is 0.75 pounds okay? And I'm like, no. That's too much. That's too much. I don't want to pay for that. And he's like, all right, all right, fine. But, like, they get aggravated. Like, you just upset them or, like, insulted <laughs> them. Like, you're the one that did it wrong. It's all this work. You got to take a tiny scoop out of the top of the container before you weigh it again. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, like, this is on. a good one. When you go to Subway, Crendor, right? What's your your go-to? Uh, I just get a turkey. Like a whole turkey? turkey. The deets. <laughs> yeah, yeah <almost>. rotisserie <laughs> turkey. <laughs> um, I just I get a classic foot-long sub. I measure it myself to make sure that they're not skimming me out. Right. Yeah. And they're bad uh, I get that. turkey. Yeah. I usually get whole wheat. <laughs> Big whole wheat fan. 
Um, sometimes I would get the uh, Italian herbs and cheese if I was feeling adventurous. Oh. Yeah, why why whole wheat? I have to ask. Uh, I don't know. I like fiber. You can get bread that has cheese baked into it. Now you can it also get taste Subway like now. Cheese when if it's you baked pay in. a buck extra, they'll just put a fiber one bar on your sub. It's <laughs> <laughs> good. Uh, where was? Oh yeah. So uh, I don't know. I just enjoy the whole wheat bread. All right. Uh, so and I'm not trying to put you in a bad <laughs> spot. I'm just. <laughs> Uh, well, now I am in a bad spot. I can't even think of my topic. <laughs> yeah, that's yet. called being mind flooded around well, here. Well, you start. From <laughs> do a lot of that. Do you want the extra add-on avocado or not? No. no. It says okay. yeah. terrible it's avocado. Like Three dollars for that. One time, I remember they were like, "We got some fresh avocado in here," and I was like, "All right." And I looked in; it was just a packet of like avocado, and I was like, "That is no." Uh, so yeah, don't get that. I just get. Mustard, yellow mustard, to be exact. Do you, do you uh, start with the sauce? Like, will they let you do that? I think they will let you do that, but I'm that's like... That's inverted of all right, the You go there, they say, hello. I say, I want a whole wheat uh, a turkey foot long. They're like, all right, <laughs> they start cutting it. One time they started cutting it, and they almost cut themselves, and I yeah, thought I was going to get sued. They um, just <laughs> sue you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so you get that, and then you put cheese. I usually get pepper jack. Okay, Big Pepper right. Jack fan. They don't offer that here. We just get no. orange and white. No, orange we, we and can white? Get Swiss or Monterey Jack as well. Uh, we, we usually, at the one close to us, you only get two kinds of cheese. And they don't even say, like, do you want cheddar or whatever? They're like, provolone. You know, yeah. White or orange. Nah, dude. No provolone. Not even provolone. Yeah, which sucks because I'm the big meatball guy and provolone I'll say. would. We have always called you by your back. <laughs> Here in Chicago, we fall, we call like the fair weather like sport fans uh, meatballs that are like yeah. kind of short and chubby. Nice. One time, I have a story about this. So I was at a Blackhawks game, and there's this guy in front of us with his like two other friends, and he is a perfect example of a meatball. Mm. And he is just <laughs> sitting there, and he had his beer, and he was like, "Come on." Come on! Oh, <laughs> and then he like spilled his beer on the kid next to him, and he's like, "Ah, yo, mom will wipe that up." <laughs> wow! <laughs> and then uh, after a, after a couple more beers, someone got hit, and as a penalty, and he's like, "Hit him below the belt." <laughs> and I don't know what that means to this day. You don't know what it means? <laughs> yeah, hit him below the belt, but I don't know like what he was referring to. Like they're not wearing belts. Oh, it means punch right. him in the balls. Well, now I know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, but he is very adamant. It's a great experience if you haven't gone to a hockey game. You gotta go to a hockey game. Oh, yeah. Fuck. We, uh, Kate and I saw the Canucks play the Jets, like, a month ago. And, you know, the Jets have this Finnish rookie that is really good called Patrick Laine. At least before you got knocked the fuck out on le a perfectly legal hit that might have left him like a little brain damage but you know that's just <laughs> yeah. good old good old fashioned hockey right <laughs> and there was like I don't know if it was like the Finnish consulate or just like some people who were extremely Finnish behind us were completely silent the entire game except whenever Patrick Laine touched the puck they would go let's go Patrick and like <laughs> shout it as loud as they possibly could and like <laughs> It didn't matter if he was in his own end or like, you know, had a scoring chance. Just let us go, Patrick! And it was crazy. They were they were extremely game? proud. But they you were know not what easily. Green Day always <laughs> said about the Finnish people. Nice guys finish say? last. Nice guys finish last, of course. I get it, like Finland. Track one off of uh, Nimrod. <laughs> Save me. Up. Save me. Oh. Today's been a very Green Day heavy show. Yeah, that's, that's they're, not they're on their way back. They got, like, a new album, and the Canucks have taken one of the songs off that album as, like, their warm-up music, but they don't have any lyrics, because I guess they didn't oh. license it, so it's just, like, an endless guitar riff <laughs> and drum track, and Sounds it's, like hell. <laughs> it's heinous. Are the Canucks good yet? Nah, they're still, like, pretty terrible. Uh -oh. We might make the playoffs if, like, every team in front of us completely collapses, like Winnipeg has. <laughs> no offense, Fox. 
Eh, they, no, no. I, it's like 20, 2019 is the Jets, the year of the Jets. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, this is the Blackhawks year. We win every other year. But the uh, the Kings didn't win last year, so the curse is broken. No. Yeah. No. Mm. They're the Kings, though. They're like... L.A. doesn't count. Yeah, I've heard they don't that. even have ice in L.A. Yeah. They got ice there. They, like, they manufacture ice. the ice, yeah. Like, in a lab? Yeah, in a lab. With, uh, blue material? Blue man group. Uh oh <laughs> I got out of the... I got out of the game. You're welcome. You guys all died? Oh, I yeah. saved Ryan. Yeah, I, I died first. I didn't even try to save myself. After. I killed oh, yeah, one I person. Shit, okay. this guy. Little megaphone or something. Playoffs. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's. We invented that meme. <laughs> <laughs> you might think Mora that Jim thing. Mora Jr. invented that meme, but that's us. No. You can't steal our memes. What team was Jim Mora Jr. coaching when he made that. The Colts. Statement? He's, you are correct. This is the Indianapolis Colts. What? I know my NFL football, all right? What coach said they are who we thought they were? Dennis Green, Arizona Cardinals, lost to the Bears. That's correct. Oh, wow. I don't know. I'm in Chicago. I hated all the Bear fans that year. Mm, wait, what team do you cheer for? The Packers. Oh, mm. he's but a cheesehead. <laughs> because my dad was a Packers fan. And That's so fair. And so I became a Packers fan. However, he was a White Sox fan, and I became a Cubs fan. Do you own the long con? A yep. share of the Packers? Uh, I don't. It's hard to get one. Wow. Yeah, if you like get on the season ticket holder list, you're like four hundred thousand in line or something. I got one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is always one empty seat at every game. That's uh, that's where Mouth's <laughs> supposed to be. I always go. Everyone always likes when they. Like somebody doesn't know about sports, and I'll just go into like a big sports rant, kind of like the announcers do, and just ramble off sports terminology. But I try to make it make sense as much as possible. <laughs> Mouth, kill your friends and invite us. Right. I this is my first time ever being. Uh, well, I'm clicking on kill your friends. So it won't. Do I have to like exit and do it again? I think you just like click it once, and it should. Did we like oh, hardly wait, ever play know. this with you, Mouth? I thought I you were in this, this a few times. times. Wait, let me leave lobby. Maybe that's mm, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill your friends. How do we... Oh, wait. No, I gotta back out. Then you go to your friends list on Steam, and then click the little down arrow next to somebody's name, and then join game from there. Unless he sends you an invite. Oh, there Let's we go. Ryan an invite. Thanks, I appreciate it. I've been looking, like, I'm trying to go to more Canucks games because it's convenient. And I, like, look at NHL Ticket Exchange, and there's some people on there who are very nice, you know, as a ticket reseller. Yeah. And they'll be like, hey, I don't want to see this game between the Canucks, who are, like, probably bottom five in the league, and then, like, the Arizona Coyotes. It's 7 p.m. <laughs> on a Tuesday. It's going to be, like... sound a... right, because they were Phoenix. And now right, it's no, just... Now it's Arizona. Yeah. And they were on, like, an 11-game losing streak. And you're like, ah, you know what? I'll sell those tickets for, like, 40 bucks each. Like, That's very kind of you. And then you look at the price range, and it'll be, like, $40 to $9,999. What season ticket holder is just being an asshole? He's like, well, I don't really want these, but I also don't want to give them up too cheap. But I'll tell you what, if you make it worth my while, it's you like those get people that sell their ticket. houses and sites like the house sites or whatever, and they're just like, hey, make it worth, worth my while, sell you my house. And they want like a million dollars for their shitty like $100,000 house. Yeah. How about Welcome you make it worth my mile? Exactly. I don't know anything about sports, so I'll be here when you're done. <laughs> That's not true. You know stuff about disc Jane. That's <laughs> not really... I don't actually know very much about that either, because I don't know the difference between a rally and the other thing I was saying. Yeah, uh, all, all hits are, are volleys. Volley, yeah, I was confusing volley and rally. Rallies don't exist, apparently. I was I made a mnemonic for my own self for my head as uh, Domino Rally is right, and no, I forgot the other half. <laughs> I guess it didn't work. No, no, it's uh, Rally is right and Volley is folly. Yeah, Volley is folly. That's right. <laughs> no, that's except rally. I have to remember it to make it work. Shit. Uh, I'm not doing anything. 
But yeah, you can pretty much break down any like sports analyst because all they do is generalize what they're saying and you can do it for They're like, stop it right here. You take a look at this puck positioning. He's going to go with his stick. He's going to shove that stick right in there and get the puck. Now all you all young hockey players out there, take a listen. When you go into the formation, when you get that four check, you want to get behind the net, get your stick down, let your teammates come down the ice and really just break away to get your get your big guy in front of the net, let him block away and you're going to get a free shot at the net. Really, really good at that. <laughs> yeah. Don Cherry? Yeah, it was basically Don Cherry. <laughs> but like, you can do the same thing, right? Like, all right, it's fourth and three. Now, what do you do here? Back in my day, you'd run the ball up the middle, Troy. You know, you'd go at the I form, you pound it in, <laughs> but they play it. They, they play a three-four defense now. You got a four-three. You don't know what's going on out there. These guys are built like animals. This is, you know, they, back in my day, you go for a beer after the game. Now they go work out. It's just, it's, uh, it's, it's crazy. Like it's all, it's just, it's just their generalized information. Then you got the old sports guy who's just like, back in my day. If the team wants to win, they're going to have to start scoring more, Bob. <laughs> it's, uh... You got to score points in these situations. I felt like I just had the TV uh. on in the background while I was playing the game. That was wild. <laughs> Where'd you go? You got to score points. If you're not scoring points, you're going to lose the game. <laughs> but when oh, you got a guy like LeBron on your team, he's going to put up 40 every game. You know, it's almost unfair. <laughs> it's almost unfair out there. It was pretty much like Bear and I doing the Rocket League announcing when we still did it. It was just like draw on every sporting event you've ever seen in your entire life. <laughs> <laughs> Mix it with video games. It sounded professional. You cannot beat Lucinio in the air. If the ball gets up there, it's going in the net. Oh I was God, impressed like with the fluidity. Madden. John Madden and Pat Summerall is probably my favorite announcing team. Because you got John Madden just be like, oh, oh, these guys got stick them on their hands. <laughs> and he's like going crazy. Then there's like Pat Summerall, who's pretty much like the complete opposite, being like third down, whiskey <laughs> is gone because I've drank it all, and here we go, the plays out, and he's got to touch it out. It's great. Just look up Pat, Pat Summerall, and John Madden, and listen to some of those. John Madden. Chat loves to say John Madden over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> John, Madden. John Madden. John Madden. John Madden. Whoa. Oh and, my yeah. god, he's sawing everybody down! I mean, you guys only get Don Cherry in the U.S. on special occasions, but he's basically a Canadian hero who makes his living working one hour a week just showing endless highlights of people getting, like, punched in the head and being like, well, you can't do that, you know? <laughs> we just have Eddie Olchek, and all he does is just say, stop it right there. He, like, tells the camera, he's like, stop it right there! That's his favorite thing to say. Like, that's the drinking game people play. Where'd you go? <laughs> my window minimized. I accidentally clicked out, so when I came back here... It's gonna be one of those games, isn't it? <laughs> Where we all just wait. <laughs> oh. Well, anyone it's fixing generators, you've got a great opportunity right now. <laughs> Don't blow up our spot, Nick. <laughs> Oh good, this bug again. Is that actually a bug? I just couldn't actually see him. No, I hid. I I knew oh, your, hey, your window minimized. <laughs> hey, I like your shirt. Can I have it? No. I'll leave you oh, alone if you give me your It's shirt. not a great place to hide, huh? No. I built Oh yeah, I forgot all about uh Pierre Maguire. Are you getting him in America? Whenever we get games on like the NHL network, he's on it. And he's just like I don't know what it is. He's like a weird. He's a weird like man. A weird, yeah. A weird gremlin man. He's he's always he knows way too much about the childhoods of every player. Yeah, and he gets hard really working. close to him. Yeah, like <laughs> Brandon Weed Kings signed this kid straight out of the CHL. Strong <laughs> legs for a teenager, and you're like Pierre, dude. Like, it's just like I'm with Jonathan Tays. Jonathan, I'm standing one millimeter away from you. How does it feel to win the game? It's like you smell great, Jonathan. Uh, yeah, we, we uh, played hard out there. Our teammates really pulled it together. We tried to score some goals uh, we could. And, uh, <laughs> you know, when you, when you play hard, you, you, you reap the benefits. That's the other thing that's really generalized, the players' answers. I don't even know why they bother, like, talking to the players. Yeah, Somebody you know, we just got to play our game. Right by. It's we like play our game out there, Mad guys. Libs. 
you we're playing our game. We've got to play our game, or we haven't been playing our game. The bounces have gone our way, have not gone our way. We gotta put the pucks in the net. Yeah, put put some pucks on net. Yeah, pucks. Get on the net. cycle going. Don't take dumb penalties. Oh. Give it 110. percent I'm pretty sure they take a class on what to say to the media. I think you are actually oh. literally correct. Yeah. But there's like a, one of the guys playing on the Canucks right now. He's like 21. And uh, there's a tweet that has been screen capped from 2011 when the Canucks are on their Stanley Cup run. And he's like, wow, just shaking my head at these Sedin sisters out here. And now he's playing <laughs> on the top line with them. It's so good. You're like, yeah, I mean, he was a kid, but still. It's funny. Yeah, who would want to play with the Sedin sisters? That's insulting. <laughs> what are you doing there, Nick? Ah, uh, you know, crawling around like a snake on the ground. Yeah, Ilya Brizgalov, he needs to come back. He was the best. I've been watching this TV program about the universe. <laughs> the universe is like <laughs> so humongous big, right? And we are just this little part of it. Does that yeah, somehow turn into a sports metaphor? Well, no, he's, they're like, well, you know, the media's really roasting you over your performance last game. Like, How can we be mad at things happening down here? We're so small. <laughs> Our problems are meaningless. That's like the opposite of nihilism. I don't know what that is, but I like it. Yeah, he's also yeah. the guy who's like, why you have to be mad? Oh, that guy. <laughs> the only game. Wasn't he a goalie? He is, yeah. That's what I thought. He had such a good look on his face when he said that. He was, like, genuinely earnest. He really just wanted us to get along. Yeah, he's a good dude. He seems like a good dude anyway. I like him. Based on that one sound clip. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all you need, man. Shit, dude. Well. Mouth wiped us. No way. I was on the ground for 75% of that game. Oh, now I see your <laughs> lifeless body. My first time! Victory! Congrats! Thank Genuinely you. Earnest is my favorite Earnest movie. <laughs> <laughs> Earnest Scared Stupid is mine. I've never actually seen an Earnest movie. What?! Oh my gosh, they're so good! Oh, I think they I think vary a bit, right? In Miak. No, they're all they're horrible. Yeah. That's the thing. I like the varying opinions. He goes from like they're all good. There, there's some that are good. They're all horrible. They're all bad. Show me the show me an earnest movie with above sixty on Rotten Tomatoes, and I will I will rescind my claim. It's not all about ratings, Ryan. You can I'll find personal can meaning in anything. It's not all about ratings. We'll be back in three minutes anyway to play some cool. Can you put we'll a rating soon. on experience and passion? Yeah. Probably, EA yeah. did it. <laughs> <laughs> EA does it every year. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby Chat, what should I play while these guys do Quiplash and I type oh. off screen? Yeah. That's a great question. You've played Quiplash before, right, Crandor? Yes. All right, just checking. Yeah, I've played it. Hmm. Could play... <sighs> Disc game. No, there's no time. There's no time to type during that. You, know what? you could play Disc game. That's correct. I haven't played Hearthstone in a couple weeks. Ooh. I think it's. You should do the tavern brawl. I only do tavern brawls. They're really? pretty fun sometimes. I don't, I Today's don't is pretty good. This week's is pretty good. <clears throat> I heard they repeated it. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's a duplicate, but yeah. <laughs> oh, Factoria. That would be good. I just won. Like my first four games of it, and knocked out a bunch of quests, and I was like, "Well, pretty sick. I did, I beat it." And everyone's like, "You gotta do all the secrets." So I did all the secrets, and they're like, "You have to steal the cow king and become the cow king." <laughs> so then I did that, and it only took four hours. Right, and then I was done. I'm like, never doing this again. I oh, for that tavern brawl. Yeah. I did. Uh, I won twelve times because I was just knocking out like the easiest quests of all time. I'm like. Why would I grind for four cents an hour of in-game currency against human players when I could grind out like eight cents of in-game currency an hour against this AI that's stupid? <laughs> Why would I ever want to lose playing Hearthstone? It just doesn't make sense to me. 
I mean, you got a point. I got many. Well, I got at least 240 in-game gold. So you must be careful who you're talking to. That's almost realize. enough for two arena runs. You know what? That is enough for two arena runs. Oh boy, if you're confident enough, you're going to... Oh, you know what? You actually are right, because you get a hundred... No, wait a minute. You get a pack no matter what. Take yeah, it from somebody who went 0-6 on stream. They don't, <laughs> they don't give you too many rewards when you get uh, zero wins. <laughs> Shit, dude. How many beanies do you own now? This is a toque. <laughs> no. But Full I have of a toque. I have three. We call right, into I'm gonna here. Read. I'm gonna shout out some subscribers and bits. Sometimes this takes a while. Mr. Wizard, Ferrero Brochet, Croy Potts, Dangus McNasty, Spookadelic GMC112, Neo MV, Scruffy Lemming, I am Dube, Febreze, Duffinate. Randomly illegal. Waifu Gone Wild, Trini1222, Red World74, Da Fat Mofo, A Sexy Ninja, Shadow Wind114, Azurine, Rob Fitz, Schwipper1337, Darmanamun, Fudge Ripple Daddy, JC Delacroix, Sun Goku26100, Adam Forsberg, Arcanaru, Zene Heronisa, It's Opaque Not Clear, Mythics, Pharanox, Painter Skies, Waska HD, Luke Shaman, Asedge, the Red Ferret, Gamblemon, Kaglasi, Brett Pirani, Gamtrox, Faxitu, NL, would you trade 5% of your income for the ability to spit venom like a cobra? Only if I had, like, complete control. I wouldn't want to spray anybody in the face, like Jurassic Park style, by accident. Oh, come Very on, you handicapped. spraying people in the face. <laughs> by accident? <laughs> Seanicus13, <laughs> Ruta the Dragon, Sweetle127, Detention, Her Carl Marco, Some Oblivion, Not Chosen Waffle, SSF 1991, Infamous Mask, Pandemonium Knight, The Matheson, The Devil's Brew, Clear Turtle 2, Schmell My Finger, I Told You It's Taken, C. Ramirez 318, Streen Payton, Kintis, Orcas Borcas, Big Head Winter, Christmas 95, Jay Bergman 02, Bronze Crew Scum, Hakishen, Lovely Tomo, Dr. Ziegler, Quickstis, Brolar, Dater Gator, Thompson Trait, JP Masterpiece, Fizzit 86, Inkstain, Lava Seeker, Trellenberger, Cruz, Choice Face, The Kaliel, says Dr. Pepper's great fuck Crandor. I don't endorse <laughs> wow. on our co host, but wow. if you pay me $5, you can say anything you want. <laughs> the Rice Guy, Thank His Grandma, Dill Pickle 0997, Signice, Dinosaurite, Cactus 308, Dontis, Dominic, Dominic DQ, Texas Milk, Mage Shady, Hype Rice Tea, High Price Tea, Quicksilv, Zaphod the Nothingth, Blunter Spy, 420 Elite Sniper, 69 XX, Helmion, Pastor of Muppets, Symbolus, Bebbits, and Garfield, 23. Thank you for the subscriptions. Is everybody in the? Well, we need Crendor in the in the Jackbox game. Yeah. Oh wait, is it in the thing? It's in the Discord. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... So in the meantime, bits from Delta, 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 Delta. <laughs> <laughs> Staluti, Lutzi, Double Taco, Delta, 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 Lunaraz13, Swim Loves You, Geo, Geo, Delta, and Swim Loves You. Thank you guys as well for the cheers. If more people want to join us, by all means, go in the Discord, grab the password, and then join the game. Sit I will give you and 30 relax, seconds. It told me. Yeah, well, don't get any big ideas about pressing any buttons or anything. I don't really like when someone tells me to relax. It's, like, impossible to relax. Then. It should be removed. Like, I'm pretty sure if you're, like, a hostage negotiator, that's what they tell you, like, day one. It's like, don't tell yeah. the person with a gun to, like, just calm down, bro. Yeah, that's just, I always just picture, like, a really old Italian man just be like, relax, relax, relax. <laughs> it's like yelling at you. Hit like, him below yeah. the belt. Hit <laughs> him below the belt. I started up a new game of Factorio if anyone cares to watch. All right. Ooh. That's a big See how far I can make it in the uh, hour, I guess. 
I hit everybody's in, but if somebody wants to get in next game, they can. We got Austin in the in the lobby. Or somebody who took Austin's name, at least. <clears throat> what happened to Rob? Rob cheers for the New York Jets. That's sad. He takes pictures of his food, but they're all from extremely close vantage points. On paper points. <laughs> <laughs> or paper bowls. <laughs> I love it. That's what happened to Rob. Dude, what if there was a guy on Instagram who only took pictures of food on paper plates? That could you be Rob. Be a millionaire. <laughs> huh. Yeah, popper, popper paper plates. Popper plates? It's a piece of cake to pop a paper plate. <laughs> All right, we got prompts. We got prompts. And this is where, like, normally during Quiplash, we just get, like, you know, half an hour of dead air over the course of the next 50 minutes or so. <laughs> that's what why, we all think. You know, we all do other stuff most of the time when we're playing. Yeah. I mean, that's fair. Um. Austin, if you're in the game, you should just join the Discord call, man. Yeah, His upload might be too bad. Like, he might just have a dead call. It's too bad to join the Discord call? Well, he said he had, like, 0.1 upload right now. <laughs> Look, paper plates just save time. That's all I'm going to oh, say. No, 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 There he it is. Saves time. You don't need to, you got you to gotta wash the plates all the time. What do you want to do that for? So Why fun. are you using plastic forks, then? Well, because it saves time, too. You're not going to wash the plates. Oh, you're not okay. going to wash the forks, either. That's true. You just buy a pack of them. You just throw them out. You're good to go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, he's a man with a plan. And I'm glad you use you hands with fish and chips. Sorry, uh, I'll let you guys do it. Okay, I disagree <laughs> with you, but we'll just <laughs> right to say it. Crandor, you gotta submit your answer! I'm thinking, oh, okay, you, Jesus. Yeah, it, I think it took it from you. Oh, shit. Okay. Do, do I sound like a answer? robot? You sound no. fine, actually. Oh, that's good. nice. Propose Definitely. new Olive Garden slogan. When you're here, you're... Eat shit and die... Yep. Or probably 60 to 80 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I when you're here, That's you're right. Eat shit and die. <laughs> uh, I like Olive Garden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've only been there once. I enjoyed it myself. I respect Olive Garden because they used to offer a deal where if you paid them like 150 bucks, they'd send you a card in the mail and you could eat free pasta for the whole month. I just yeah, don't like that they try to fill you up on breadsticks before your meal even gets there. Mm. That's part yeah, of the they fun. They give you like two so meals good. now. It's the give and the take. <laughs> it's the temptation. Well, Crendor fits right in already. You got a quiplash. Thank you. Thank That's you. That's step one of uh, quiplash is you always yeah. unanimously beat mouth. I know. <laughs> one time a year ago, I went to Olive Garden. There's all 60 to 80 year old people. And they're all ordering the like get two meal thing so they could take one home and eat it at home. Nice. That's just practical, man. Yeah. A good reason to give a restaurant a zero-star review. They serve you mac and cheese when you're full, or they serve you on paper plates. Who would do that to someone? <laughs> it just saves time, man. <laughs> I think that's just like Italian restaurants in general. Like, there's... Okay, paper plates has one narrowly. Um... 66 to 34. Why would you, what? if you got brought mac and cheese when you're full, you don't want to eat it. <laughs> that's true. You're not even familiar with the story that's based on, but you've already sussed out the, uh, the absurdity inherent in it. Yeah. The Eiffel Tower would be a lot cooler if it had naked women all over it or hot dogs. Doop. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been to an Italian restaurant that was not populated almost exclusively by people with gray hair. I'm trying to think back. Mm -hmm. I'm going through, like, the index in my mind. I don't think I've ever been to an Italian restaurant where you have to wait, like, 40 minutes to get a table. Mm. Oh, he's busy. That seems common as well. like, $15 for pasta. You can buy, like, a box of that for a dollar. You still got enough money left for plates. Yeah. Naked women all over it gets the win. Hell yeah, it does. Yeah, I voted naked women. What a moody teen would say to hurt their stepdad, Bigfoot. Paper plates are... 
four. <laughs> Your hands are small. I'm voting paper plates are. <laughs> I don't fit know. him perfectly. You got the quiplash on mouth, and you got the didn't finish your answer in time. So that will probably still win. I mean, I definitely finished my answer. It can't be me. <laughs> your hands are small. <laughs> I don't know about this one. <laughs> well, it's no quiplash. But uh, your hands are small. Damn. 69. Nice. 31. <laughs> That one had everything. Incomplete answer, veiled <laughs> reference to the president-elect of the United States, uh, <laughs> grammatical error. The worst oh, thing to the admit. Thing. Fuck. The worst thing to admit during a sleepover. That you have crusty socks for a reason or so hard can't think straight. Is this about the answer or is this like at the sleepover you you have such a raging boner <laughs> that... <laughs> yeah. You're inconsolable. Um... <laughs> Uh, fuck. I'm. This guy's fucking me up. <laughs> I think this one's pretty easy. Factorio's so slow at the beginning. I forgot how little happens at the start. Doing a lot of hand mining with your hands. Yeah. yeah. Crusty socks for a reason. 71 to 29. You're embracing the meme? You have to embrace the meme on the internet. <laughs> I'm just so even surprised. That's just a common if you, knowledge. If if a meme spawns about you on the internet, you can't fight it. What are you gonna? I'm gonna come over to everybody's house in Twitch chat and beat the crap out of them. That's just not conceivable. It could work. Man. Live your life, whatever you want to do. Like yeah, there's no precisely. tomorrow. Live your life like there's no tomorrow. Uh, All right. Like <laughs> there's no tomorrow. <laughs> I could have said this prompt to continue that line of logic. <laughs> Hmm. It's the dumbest prompt and the dumbest answer. That's why it's perfect. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Yo, thank you, Ashada. For what? For five months. No. Rank 19 full Reno Mage feels bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I never see it coming. Even Red though I know. Do you know. see everyone's playing beneath the grounds now on rogue decks to counter Reno decks? What is beneath the grounds? Yeah. Shuffles three ambush cards into your deck. Oh, so God. Cancels damn. Reno. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, dude. I don't play any like constructed decks. I just make my own decks that do really bad, but they're fun. As long as you're playing beneath the grounds, I mean, that's pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, Gee, I'm like beneath the grounds. I'm rank 18 right now, and it really, every match is Reno Mage against Reno Mage. <laughs> it takes like 20 years to level up. <laughs> Why is life so hard? It started on a giant rock, or it got turned on. <laughs> sort of get it. That's that's, <laughs> yeah. All right. But you go back fast with for the seven months. Lemon curry is your message. Yeah, never had that. Oh. I never had lemon curry, dude. You know it's good. Chicken tikka masala. Oh, <sighs> yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, on man. whole wheat. I had chicken uh, schnitzel, schnitzel sandwich today. <laughs> what did you say? It was a chicken BL schnitzel sandwich. It was a BLTP chicken schnitzel. schnitzel. <laughs> did I say it right? <laughs> chicken schnitzel. schnitzel. It's, like a, it's like having a stroke every time you gotta say, say schnitzel. It's, like it's hard, you gotta plan for it. Minor rotation. It's got like four consonants in a row. Too many. <laughs> Something you shouldn't say to a mafia godfather. Mafia, more like Latvia. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> or you ever play Whacked on Xbox? Your Canadian accent ruined that completely. Mafia, more like Latvia. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> Latvia pasta. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. He's not even saying those foreign words in the American way. <laughs> Well, Mafia more like Latvia. 
56 to 44. That's a close battle. That is hard fought. I'm the joke? This is like the presidential election. <laughs> <laughs> I was. A sign your parents may have sheltered you as a kid. You get your mom to type your sex for you, or you don't know about crusty socks. Crusty socks is the that's the new meme today. We're that's working on it. Meme. Probably good. Yeah, could be. Maybe not. We'll see. Thank you, Captain Thank you. Crapass, for the subscription. That's just the name of Jackbox's new game. You don't know about Krusty Socks. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say their name is Captain Crapass. <laughs> All right, you get your mom to type your sex for you. 58 to 42. She has to help. I broke both of my arms. No. <laughs> Look, that's... <laughs> the I'm dumbest use of a science... Wait, the dumbest use of science would be to clone a single bean or to clone a really bad scientist. Yeah, because why not clone like a good one? Yeah, it's well, a waste. They might not work in that part of science anyway, so I'm gonna go single bean. Dude, that's unlimited food. That's one but bean. There's only two beans, though. Yeah, but then you put two beans into the cloning machine, you get four. You know how big that can scale up? It didn't say you keep cloning. It just says yeah, you just said once. You only got one bit of clone fuel in there or something? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how it works. You know what? Really bad scientists. We don't know how it works. <laughs> really bad scientists won 56 to 44. Damn it. Unbelievable. <laughs> Too bad it wasn't a Sean Gold Bean. What? What? The actor from, you know, he played Trevelyan. That's a bit of a stretch. For England, James, etc. A better name for belly buttons, stomach vortex, <laughs> or the gaping torso chasm. <laughs> stomach vortex is really good. <laughs> that implies circular motion, though. Yeah, but I mean, belly buttons You'd wake have up and your shirt would yeah. be tangled inside of your body. They have those lines. Your shirt sure ever been tangled inside of your body, Austin? LaShawn La Bain. Belly button lines. <laughs> I know you've got them. <laughs> we all have them, man. <laughs> oh, stomach vortex got a quiplash. Oh, <sighs> yeah. Thank you. Thank well, you. you mean, you know, I voted with my mind and my heart. And my belly button. And my stomach vortex, exactly. That's all you can do. In this day and age, what else can you do? Oh, oh, I barnied wow. into a rag. Oh. What? I think barnied? he's doing Hearthstone speak. <laughs> I got barnied into a rag. Oh, oh, Barnes. Oh, Barnes. Oh, Barnes. That sounds like what an oh, old God. gambler says. Like, I just barnied into a rag. <laughs> yeah, I got 15 <laughs> coins. Are you serious? What is this? <laughs> That was what it like. It was like when I played craps for about four minutes in Vegas. They were like, "Hey, you want to roll these dice?" I'm like, "Not really." And I tried to place a bet, and she's like, "You can't bet right now." And then I pulled out my cell phone, and she's like, "There's no phones at the table." So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go. I'll see you later. This is nonsensical. <laughs> oh shit! I thought of a better one I could have done. Fuck. Penis, 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 <laughs> vagina, vagina, vagina. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, I mean. Yo, I own bots. You have a 3D printer? Oh, wow. Are those affordable yet? I mean, yeah. Oh, you got, you got four seconds. But are they worth having? It, I mean, it depends, honestly, on what you do for a living, like. No, I mean just to like dick around with. If I want to make well, like figurines or something with them, is that worth having? Is, just make triangles. Something is worth what you're willing to pay. I would make triangles. <laughs> I would sell them. That would be awesome. Why would I buy yeah. triangles? I could just buy my own 3D printer. Oh. Mm. Peppy preteen princess, penis people praying, Piper's pickled penis, penile press, <laughs> crab sad baz, <laughs> purple pomegranate pustules. I mean, we didn't really bring the heat on this one, but that's no, okay. No, we really didn't. I'm not proud of myself, yeah. honestly. I'm not either. I feel ashamed and embarrassed. <laughs> I mean, I voted for him. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>
Don't buy triangles oh. if you could buy squares and cut them in half. Yo. No! <laughs> He's trying to put me out of business! <laughs> Nick, uh, I own... I own bots bought his for two hundred dollars. His printer. Yeah, that's printer. not so bad. Yeah. I built my own three D printer. <laughs> really? How'd you build it? With my hands. Oh, I you know I thought maybe you know you'd three D print it. Oh, Factorio man. style. Mm, that's a little too meta for me. I understand. Yeah. I can't believe it. Peppy preteen princess won this. With nice. its, I mean, it's not. Even funny. funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> None of them are funny, but like the one that won also was not funny. <laughs> All right. Final standings. It's Austin, Crendor, myself, and then the last two people, they got erased from the screen too fast. It's okay. I came yeah. last. <laughs> yeah, <and then. laughs> Probably 60 to 80 years old was the top answer of the of the game. Hell yeah. You know Fucker wrote me. <laughs> Fucker wrote me. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm not happy about it. Well, I'm happy about it. I'm not happy to admit it. But uh, a dude played uh, Vaporize as his secret, and I tried to bait it out for like ten tries, but he kept freezing me. So I was like, whatever, I'll just try and see if it's Vaporize, and it was. And then he said, well played. Forty five minutes later, when I finally won the game, roped his ass. I dropped <laughs> Reno and then hero powered him for one for lethal. I was like, that's what you get. I'm gonna remember that battle net tag. I don't though. <laughs> oh god, these are bad. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> you always get a worthy opponent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so true. Shit, dude. I don't right, think I'll 30 seconds. ever get... Like, rank 14 was my best of last season, and I don't even know how that's possible. Because I suck at this game. You should just play the Tavern Brawl, man. I don't get them, though. Like, they're like, here, have, what you weird, mean? have this deck. And I'm like, okay. This one is just like, you just pick a class. And then on your first turn, you pick a second class. And then it mashes together like two decks. Wow. You got right. eight seconds. Ugh, spam the keyboard again. Chat will love it this time, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> if you get close enough to a real world, they'll just spam it. And it'll post on the subreddit. Yeah. Sometimes those live on forever. Yeah. Then they subscribe to you with that name. Uh, EIL, Fankfa, <laughs> Monster Time board game. <laughs> yeah. A good name for a Christian water park. Yeah. Kill Switch Engage or Parting the Red Sea. <laughs> uh. Is it Kill Switch Engaged? Is it just Engaged? Well, like. For a brief period between dating and marriage, <laughs> it might have been a long time. You never know. Yeah, you ever see that movie, The Five Year Engagement? That's a it's long about, time. It's about kill switch engage. Oh. Malf, I'm gonna need you to stop getting quiplashed. <laughs> Did kill switch engage lose? It got zero votes from us. <laughs> Jesus. And well, then the we, audience also did not that's love it. Brutal. To be frank. Wow, we talked about you it. You can't even tell that it's a Christian water park from the movie. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I didn't vote for it. I what you will bequeath to your enemy upon your death. My collection of crusty <laughs> socks or D's nuts. That's a no brainer. Room code invalid? I don't think so. You can type it in there and join the audience and Make your own votes. No vote? What's the problem? This isn't that bad. Are, are you self-maming again? <laughs> Is that why? Oh, Collection Yo, crusty socks. Austin, we got a roulette game up. Combat. What's that? Roulette game in chat. What roulette? Oh, yeah. It's back, baby. Oh, no. Why is each snowflake different? Oh. They aren't China lied about it, or why not? 
next. <laughs> Wait, is that supposed to be funny? It's a reversal, man. Uh. Chat's in a good place right now. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty much par for the course. I tried to read Rob's message, but it did go up too fast. <laughs> It's like watching a waterfall. They aren't. China lied about it. It's a 67%. No quiplash, though. No quiplash. Oh, this is my so worst close. ever. The quickest way to rid yourself of a tapeworm. Anal chopsticks or send in a glue worm after it. <laughs> <laughs> the dumbest answer I've ever seen. <laughs> a glue worm? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> the tape has glue on it. <laughs> well, that's sticky him out of there. I really like the sound of anal chopsticks. That's yeah, very tensile. That's a great quote. I just I pictured think. a glue worm battling the tapeworm. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Like an epic confrontation. That's probably the worst answer that's ever gotten a quiplash. <laughs> Send in a glue worm after it. It went over the line. It was so stupid, it was funny. A terrible name for a street. Beat Beat Street or Paper Plate Street? We're not on like... today, huh? Paper Plate <laughs> Street is like... That's ironic. Like, that's where the, the Paper Plate District is like where the Million Dollar Mansions are. <laughs> they just call it that because on a map it looks like a paper plate. No, but the, the first one's like, you're talking to someone like, all right, what's your address? And I live on 4 Beat Beat Street. Oh, could you spell that for me? And they ask that every time. You, would you? They yeah, probably would for Paper Plate Street as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Paper Plate Street? They're like, what What did you just say? It's P-A-P-E-R-P-L-8 Street. Is there a space between that? Well, Beat Beat Street is one. More like Yeet Yeet Street. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's probably true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, skeet, 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 skeet street. <laughs> there he goes. Skeet, skeet, skeet street. street. Why didn't they give me that? <laughs> I would have got a quick flash. Every prompt you don't get, you'll be great at. <laughs> I know, right? Ooh. Hmm. This is tough. <laughs> no. Is that a Hearthstone laugh or a Quiplash laugh? That's Quiplash. <laughs> I hope people like it. Man, this prompt is terrible. Yeah, I think I have that one too. Just be creative. Green is not a creative color. That's what I wanted you to say. You're welcome. <laughs> Sure, let's well, it's worked so far. Ooh, mouse laughing at how hard he's gonna get quiplash. <laughs> <laughs> this is a purposefully bad answer on the second one, so I expect I to get quipped on it. I submit an answer, and I want to use my old answer, and I'm ashamed. <laughs> well, we'll see. Maybe it'll, just, maybe it'll just work out like that. The wires get crossed sometimes. Yeah, that's true. What cows are usually saying when they moo? Bus driver, move that bus! <laughs> or, <laughs> by weird. all known laws of flight, a bee should not... <laughs> Is that the beginning of bee Yeah, that's the beginning of bee <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm voting for it, but I'm really mad about it. <laughs> How do you get power to these steam generators again? This is probably not a good question to ask. You, oh, got, you got boilers. You got to pull water out of the ground and then get a boiler. Yeah, but how do you get power to the boilers? Coal. Oh, yeah. but they don't accept coal. Give them a... Uh, what do you mean? They, they do accept, accept coal. coal. Yeah. If you oh, have an never mind. I fixed it. It'll, or in whatever. 
All right. It was a quiplash for the B movie answer. A rejected church hymn. Swing low, sweet conseco, or swing <laughs> low, sweet offering plates. Conseco? Jose Conseco? <laughs> swing low, sweet conseco. Mm, coming up on to win o. I think of Jose Canseco. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Steroids. He wrote the book on him. Yeah. Like, literally. He did. Swing low, sweet Canseco with a, a quiplash. What? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody shoot a, a hot dog? Surprise. We play for keeps here, man. Unreal. Why are printer ink cartridges so expensive? Because of the crippling printer ink monopoly, or why not? <laughs> Damn it. Is that, is that mouth you can't contain your enthusiasm for your own answer? Oh, I like the bus driver move, that bus bus. I don't even understand that one. It's you know, so home makeover. The trading uh, spaces or whatever. Or home makeover. Trading yeah. spaces, home makeover. Home makeover? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, extreme home makeover. I yeah. see. My brother can do a really good Tyler impression. He gets the raspy voice. What's his name? Because Tyler of the what? crippling Pennington. printer ink monopoly. 57 to 43. I knew it. Did you? That was the one I said <laughs> I knew was a bad answer, but I'm doing it. Right. I knew was a bad answer. <laughs> <laughs> something found in every... Something found in the seat cracks of nearly every cab. 100 smaller cabs or crusty socks. What? Oh, oh. <laughs> what is this emote? I still... <laughs> it's just called The Thing, and it's that it's man hands with hands for hair. For hair. It's not hands, he's got like Wait, two pigtails. That one freaks like you things. out so much that I find no it hilarious. No one's giving me an explanation. It looks like they're slowly inserting his head into a black hole. <laughs> Dude, I've never even seen that emote before. <laughs> See? Dude, there's like 15 emotes that are super rare that no one ever uses, but they're like global emotes. All week I've been trying to figure out what the secret of the thing is. Oh, uh, the, the second answer one. Krusty socks. The weirdest thing to whisper to a ceramic doll. I'm gonna throw syringes at your ass or your mom is pretty hot. <laughs> Alright. What? <laughs> who, who gave the syringe answer? <laughs> <laughs> that was H3 thing. Uh, yeah, they did, a, thing? they did a thing about yeah. there's like a channel that they throw syringes at babies for oh, some reason. Yeah. I and it's getting like hundreds one. and hundreds of YouTube views. I <laughs> Maybe even thousands. <laughs> I watched the video like an hour and a half ago. You're current then. I'm very current. You also won with your mom is pretty hot. Hell yeah. <laughs> I also don't really get that, but... I almost said Jesus died for you, but then I went with this one. I think that could have <laughs> toughed it out That's, as well. That was the one I wanted to switch my answer for that. I was like, you know what, I gotta, I just did this, I gotta stick with it. They should add, like, cards to Quiplash, so you can be like, man, this answer sucks. I'm gonna play, yeah. like, my swap card, and then I get your answer. Yeah. And you get my answer. It'd be a big risk. <laughs> you yeah, get yeah, no answer if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. All right, it's another acronym. Fantastic. Egged. <laughs> Just egged. I mean, okay, everyone is capable of typing the emote, but can somebody explain to me why this man has two hands for hair? What if it's not hands and it's just his hair looks like hands? Look at it. I did, and I think it might be hair. His hair is hands, Nick. If you could see his hands, you would be 100% convinced. I can't see his hands. I don't know. They might look totally different. Uh, just so you know, you can see his hands. They're on his head, where his hair is supposed oh, to be. Oh, come on! <laughs> Have you seen the, uh, the Oh My Dog? You've seen the emote, I'm sure. It looks like a lovable, like, retriever or something. But when you get, like, the, the full resolution of it, the dog has crazy eyes. Oh, okay. Le Dogs like, have crazy eyes sometimes. Oh, it doesn't mean they're two bad. Seconds, two seconds. I got this easy. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, mine's bad. Real bad. Real. Eggs, gags, degs. 
<laughs> erectile giant domain, egged, eating good dicks, or even God dies. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's like a new game from, uh, what's his name? That does all the Suda crazy games. Yeah, Suda51. <laughs> Who let Josh answer this even one? Even God dies. Suda! <laughs> I did this backward. Uh. You think Suda has ever gotten hopped up on Sudafed and sued the feds? <laughs> <laughs> Sudafed and Suda. Sudafed and Suda51 Sudafeds? No way you just made that up. It just Suda? popped into my head. <laughs> Suda. You gotta make a complete sentence out of four letters. Oh, I'm almost dead. <laughs> Fuck this pirate. I don't Shock. think I voted here. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, somehow, Erectile gi Giant Domain got less votes than Eggs Gags Day. What? Which is amazing to me. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I, you know, sometimes you bring, your, you bring your game and it doesn't go your way, but you gotta just regroup, get out there next week, <laughs> and make a big time play, and get some pucks to the front of the net. Speaking of which, if you need to go hang out with Mathis Games for your uh, Star Wars Dungeons and Dragons, yeah. uh, I'll play one more and then I'll join okay. Mathis. Okay, all right. Mathis I need can to wait. redeem myself. Yeah, Mathis can wait. I mean, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds that it's going to start on time anyway? Yeah, probably negative. Negative. Odds. I'm not. I mean, I'm not showing up, so it's not going to start on time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. Find it by your own need. <laughs> yeah, I do. I mean, it's just starting up in a second here. There's nothing to worry about. Dude, I actually miss the old Wild Goblins. They used to have those like whiny voices. Where they're like, "Whoa, time is money, friend." <laughs> like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's no mind if I roll a need though. Yeah, it's not. Not even close. I'm just saying I miss them. Uh, I was in the Tavern Brawl today, and then the dude I was playing against played that minion that's like 5-5, five, five, and whenever you play a minion, it takes five health away from your own hero. And then he used Implosion and got four imps off of uh, damage he did to my own minion and hit himself in the face for 20 for lethal. <laughs> <laughs> like, turn six. It was beautiful. Hmm. Ah, this is extremely offensive, but is it cause for retribution or is it just funny offensive? Mm, that's incredible. <laughs> Go for it, man. You know, chat's going to egg you on for it. Oh, I get it. I don't know. Like, it's pretty anti-Semitic. I mean, if you gotta say that, I think you know the answer already. <laughs> Is it like pretty anti-Semitic or no? It's anti-Semitic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sure Chad will forgive you, right? They're they're a forgiving bunch. Jews. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did you do it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, he did. It's not worse than the Gabaret Sidibe joke from yesterday. So. <laughs> that was really, like way worse than I think we all reacted for. What Burt Reynolds mustache would say if it could talk? Want me to sweep your bottom, or I'm not Sean Connery? I this is 100% mouth on the left. <laughs> Any answer that starts with "want me to," what? it's just that that's like. <laughs> If you if your jokes were like a Magic the Gathering deck, that would be the basic <laughs> land. I guess you you, you want to hear my thought true. process on that one? Yep. That's I, was was like, I was like, uh, I don't know who Burt Reynolds is, so I Googled it. <laughs> and I was like, what kind of looks like Sean Connery? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what it takes to get beaten by a mouth in, uh, <laughs> in Gribble Ashy Kaya. Yeah. <laughs> the name of a holiday you quickly make up to get out of work. YouTube Appreciation Day or Rosh Hashanah?
Well, apropos of nothing at all, it seems like we got a message from Mathis Games here. <laughs> I'm going to invade your show on Discord if Krendor doesn't come do screen regions for me. No, he can't do that. I put it's invite only now. Oh, oh shit. Get boxed out, son. He has Suck no it, power man. here. <laughs> well, Dude, a lot of people think I'm Jewish because I have a big nose, but I'm not Jewish. Wow! That's just <laughs> out of nowhere this. on that one. Well, someone was like, is Krendor Jewish? It reminded me because everybody, like, it's just a thing that's happened to me before. Well, what's your excuse then? I just have a big nose. <laughs> <laughs> All the better to smell with, right? Yeah. <laughs> Does it make your sense of smell better? Like, is, do you think you have an um, above average sense of smell? I have allergies, so no. Oh, well, that's oh too God. big then. We're both yeah. cut from the same cloth. I've had the same Proud interactions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something you might overhear in a completely full clown car. So has anyone here seen the B movie? Or you can keep your hand there if you want. You like oh. jazz? Wow, the audience rebelled against B movie. Why? Nine to thirty-one for you can keep your hand there if you want. Yeah. Damn. As long as I'm not the only person to lose the mouth, it's fine. <laughs> the name of a really boring sex position is the reverse reverse or the reverse <laughs> casket bottom. <laughs> the great thing about the reverse reverse is that you can uh, hook it up to the uh, that one song. You know, reverse, reverse. Oh, I, you mean Switch by Will Smith. Yeah, that's the one. No, I can't remember the fucking <laughs> name. So two, two stops this time, that one. Oh, yeah, the song they play at the bowling alley. That, yeah, that's the one. That's probably what the Kama Sutra is like, right? They're like, oh, we got like a million positions. But they've actually only got, you know, 250,000. And then the rest are just the same ones with like upside down or reverse appended to the front of it. It's like, now do the opposite one, you know? <laughs> More like Sema Sutra. It's, it's sweet when Grandma knits you a scarf. It's really weird when she knits your balls together. It's sweet when grandma knits you a scarf. It's really weird when she knits you crusty socks is going to be the other answer. Oh, uh, no. no. With the, the counter pick. She knits your balls Today. together? TV's just <laughs> talking smack again. What did he say this time? I don't know. I'd like to see him come get quiplash by mouth. <laughs> <laughs> What? Yo, Austin, you wanna you wanna throw? <laughs> we'll play you in Hearthstone. Oh no, Grendor, you did a counter pick. No, yeah, That's dude. an advanced level meta for the Quiplash on our show. <laughs> I, I mean, you got Quiplash by it, but yes, I Still. I was really going for the counter blow. It failed. I got destroyed. But you yeah. know what? At least I tried. It's like going for an uppercut, it. you know. Yeah. If you miss, you you're gonna get hit. I knew it. I knew if it wasn't the other answer, I was like, it's gonna drop hard. Not as low as some bass drops. Uh, <laughs> or as low as Seiko <laughs> swings. <laughs> oh. Mm. oh, no. It's called the cha-cha slide. It's correct. Malf is in second. Oh no. Oh, there you go. Yo, I win this fucking game all the time. I'm just having an <laughs> off day, so. You know what? Um, Chad, I found a funny Kama Sutra position, but I can't post it because it's dirty. <clears throat> da bears. Mm. Holy sausage. Ditka. <laughs> oh, we have like eight seconds. Oh, all right. Well, I'll go Shit. with that one then. Is just yeah, half-assing was... it again? Oh, there were like four of us 
waiting, <laughs> like, like still waiting for the time limit to expire, which is how you know the prompts are pretty bad. Hidden secret. Oh, that's... Never touch the gooch with your hand. Use the gooch <laughs> rod. Or never, never touch the ceramic elephant. I don't like that prompt. Does it freak you out at all, or what? The ceramic elephant. I mean, uh, I'm no. wondering why I can't touch it. But yeah, that's exactly right. You'll never find <laughs> out either. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, I wonder where you can buy a gooch rod. Oh, if Malf has got an answer for you. Dude, ya. I swear to God, this guy emailed me a week ago saying Goochrod and a dick dad paper has not been realized and he wants to make it. Dick dad paper. <laughs> Does he own like a like a factory or something? He said he like won some kind of like Midwestern entrepreneurship thing. <laughs> <laughs> Did he ask for yeah. your banking details? <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, guys. If you want a gooch rod, just go to michaelalevox.com. Uh... The old Midwest Entrepreneur Festival. <laughs> First draft movie line. Go ahead, make my American pie. Or go ahead, make my sandwich on wheat footlong with turkey. <laughs> That's not the subway ordering convention. You say, give me a footlong turkey on wheat. Not a give me a sandwich on wheat <laughs> foot long with turkey. I mean, it won, but still. Maybe it sounds better with what. like a gun in your hand if you say it like that. Everything sounds better make with a gun in your hand, Austin. When you what? order it like that, <laughs> they're gonna make it anyway because they're you're the customer. That's true. Yeah, that says sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> you never met a witch made of sand. <laughs> The Which name sand? of a figure skating move yet to be successfully pulled off. Michelle Kwan's Kama Sutra or Figure Great Triple X? Oh, that said movie. <laughs> <laughs> that is in Santa. Figure Great Triple X. <laughs> no, it's a quiplash. Or Michelle Why Kwan's what? Kama Sutra. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost Monster Time board game level. <laughs> A bad excuse for missing your kid's graduation. You had your own graduation to attend or reading Michelle Kwan's Kama Sutra. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's got low meme potential even though it's a pretty solid one. It only needs to work twice. I guess. It made me laugh twice. There you go. That's all I ask. If it made you laugh, then give it a vote here. Earn my vote. I wonder who oh. that could be. Could just, you know, great minds think alike. You ever hear that expression? Just wow, me. mouth with the, the spiteful quiplash denial. <laughs> well, honestly, I was like half paying attention because this guy just... God uh, damn it. Alex dragoned me. Alex Dragon. Alex Dragon. A strange question to find on an IQ test. 34N plus 12 is what favorite capital of Sweden? Or have you seen a Nick Cage movie? <laughs> it's a pretty good question, I think. <laughs> What's well, like... Stockholm, right? <laughs> it's, I mean, you tell me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to not vote. Yeah, also, the same thing, Nick didn't vote either. Oh, Shit. I didn't? Oh. But have you seen a Nick Cage movie, 62 to 38? Yes. Did I do the wrong capital? Fuck. Dude, can you just imagine taking an IQ test and it just pops up, and you're just like, wait, how's this going to determine my IQ? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you know well I think okay. like the correct amount of there's like a, a normal distribution if you've seen like 7 Nicolas Cage movies you have like a 130 IQ Right. 6 or 8 Nicolas Cage movies you're at like a 110 4 or 9 Nicolas Cage movies you gotta be in like the 40s yeah I can agree with, with that come up with the flashy wrestling move with this word in its name scab
This could be anything, man. Seven is way too high. Well, he did win an Oscar. You got like <laughs> Face Off, uh, National Treasure, Leaving Las Vegas, Adaptation. Like, there's like four right there that are acceptable. Dude, what were those ones where he was like uh, trying to find the American treasure? Oh, that's National Treasure. Yeah, National Treasure. Not I like those movie. movies. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. I think I've seen maybe three Nicolas Cage movies. Which That's like 75% of the movies you've seen in your life then. Yeah, pretty much. Saw the, the two National Treasures and the, the Knowing movie. You, wow! Well, yeah. Knowing. Knowing of yeah. all. Knowing. <laughs> so bad. Come up with a flashy <laughs> wrestling move with this word in its name. Scab giver, scab ripper, the scab grab and stab, the scabbard of justice, the scab crab slammer, or Michelle Kwan's Kama Sutra. God damn it. <laughs> I think I'll vote for it every time it comes up, honestly. Eight armor. How is it possible that Nicolas Cage has been in two movies about the rapture? It's probably more than that. We just don't even know yeah. it. Because yeah. he was in Knowing, which is about like an alien rapture. And he's in Left Behind, which is about, like, you know, the rapture rapture. Isn't that, like, one of the worst movies ever? Yeah. It's yeah. also one of the weirdest things to be typecast for. Oh, you're looking for a guy who survives the rapture? Who does it great? I got a client for you. It's just like uh, in The Wicker Man, you know. He doesn't survive the rapture in that, but he does provide us with a rapturous performance. Mm -hmm. I like when they break his knees. And then put Maybe him in with the bees. For nothing? Uh, Not the bringing, bees. Or killing me isn't going to bring back your goddamn honey. <laughs> that was that was his first take <laughs> down, too. You're doing it for nothing. Killing me isn't going to bring back <laughs> your goddamn honey. The deadpan delivery made it so much better. <laughs> well, I don't want to be rude, but I won that one. Good Barely. Job. Huh. I came second. Our balls together. That's the top answer of that round. <laughs> oh. Total Biscuit just said idiot streamer, idiot followers. That's... <laughs> wow. With That's no emoticon. Blow. That's extremely <laughs> uncouth. <laughs> Good lord. That's a little blow. Drag him. No, Bear Taffy, you stay on our side, mister. All right. Cranor, you can leave so Mathis yeah. doesn't... All right, like, yeah, Mathis is going to die very soon for me. I would rather have you leave and, like, not be here than have Mathis and you be here. So Yeah, <laughs> I understand that completely. <laughs> That's just, like, you know, tell him I said that. I'll tell him. I'll let him know. Uh, right. Thanks you for having take, me. Yeah, why don't you yeah. take, like, a, a minute to pimp your own channel and various other stuff? Uh, you can watch me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Crendor, or you can just put Crendor in anything, you'll find me. Uh, that's yeah. that. Put Crendor in your mama. <laughs> put Crendor in anything, and you'll find put me. It that's anything. almost put Josh Keller. Put, <laughs> put it in your recipes. Oh, man. Alright. Hey, it's been fun, man. We'll see you later. Yeah. yeah. See you later. Peace. Bye. Bye, everybody. You want to do one more? Sure. Yes. We should, I think. Fucking no legendary dog. <laughs> That's Arcanine. You got a bestial wraith, though. Wrath, sorry. Wraith would be cool. <laughs> bestial wraith. Wait, did, you, did you buy 100 gold, or did you get 100 no, gold and buy I, a pack I, or something? I did the three mage win. Mm. You should do the tavern brawl, man. Fine, all right. Let's go, boys. <laughs> I mean, Crendor is still in the game here, so we're going to get some quiplashes, I think. But oh, no. That's okay. <clears throat> I got a pack for spectating the match. Thank you. Oh, shit. Oh, nice. Hmm. <sighs> Hmm. 
greatest plays of all time. Fuck. You will never get this. So that's what it's like to have a real YouTuber on the show. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Highly and so where were those jokes when he was here? Probably in chat as well, but I couldn't see it because it was just a rack attack. No rob, no vote. It's insulting. Choose Just because I haven't cut anything with a 1,000 degree knife doesn't mean I'm not a real YouTuber, okay? It's not too late. <laughs> <laughs> Could always start. We should, like, do that at PAX East. Yeah, let's get together and burn shit. Do the Harlem Shake <laughs> and cut up something with a 1,000 degree knife. Oh, God. We have to well, measure to make sure the temperature's high enough, though. No, Can we no, cut, no. like, a, a Samsung Note? With a 1,000 degree knife? Can we cut a $1,000 note? Bear says he's cutting the plaque when it gets there. Yeah! <laughs> that Hydraulic. would be great, dude. That's worth like another 30,000 subscribers right there. <laughs> it's an investment in your future self. The least popular scented candle smells like titty residue. That's 100% uh, for mouth because there was no answer from Crandor. It's <laughs> <laughs> the only way mouth can win. Die, fuck oh. off, Austin. I'm the best. <laughs> A terrible <laughs> thing to say to the bouncer checking your fake ID. I killed your whole family with a 9mm Beretta, or if you look, I'm actually an organ donor. Eh. 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 I mean, one is just extremely violent. <laughs> <laughs> kind of the point. Things he shouldn't say. Wouldn't it be great if one of these was Crandor's? And he was just playing from beyond the grave? Ooh, good. spookies. Nine millimeter Beretta. 57 to 43. Colon Last gun, round of colon. quiplashes always suck. Have you seen the other way of quiplash or the other <laughs> quiplash round so far? Yeah. <laughs> Some peppy preteen princess or whatever is <laughs> the top answer in one round. <laughs> the quickest way to get out of conversation is to look at the clock and say, I have to go now, <laughs> or, Welp, my wife is having a baby. <laughs> the first one's just true. So I have to go now. I wish people do that more often, you know? Go. Yeah. Then it's a lie. Well, I don't need to be here. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess we're not voting anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been nice to have a quiplash, but sure. I have to go now. 51 to 49. Look, if you got 51 to 49, you don't deserve a quiplash. That could have been a quiplash. Maybe you didn't deserve it. Oh, no. How would you spend your first day as U.S. president? <laughs> Tweeting mostly or no answer. As 100% 100, 100 for Nick. He just forgot to leave, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> what a guy. Something that should never have a chocolate filling. Crendor or your colostomy bag? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Mm. I guess so. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I mean, if all you do is eat chocolate filling, your colostomy bag is going to have that, so I voted Crendor. How do you, like, power the furnaces? Coal. No, but, like, coal. once you're converted to electricity so you the furnaces your, still need coal anyway your conveyor belt you can have coal oh, yeah, on you gotta have them all feeding forever item right and the, no yeah the arms will automatically i forgot they all have to feed crendor won that one well he, he didn't win he's got zero <laughs> points but his name won it that's good what do you mean don't be crass not that crass. That's not crass. Colostomy bag? I mean, I guess it's a little crass. Ooh. Oh, man.
How'd you get in in like 20 seconds, Nick? Oh, I just have great ideas. Wow. <clears throat> Pretty confident. Oh. No, I'm not really. That was a terrible answer. Hmm. That's bad. Oh, we're going, okay. Well, mm. next time I'm gonna say, you know what, I'm good. No, we don't need to do one more round of Quiplash. <laughs> so we have to keep that in mind. <laughs> what? Hmm. Got 10 seconds. Yeah, three. Oh, it's Crandor. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. He's probably not going to get that. First two hours were good, but Quip was terrible? Oh, it wasn't that bad. The worst place to fall asleep. <clears throat> Bed of nails, pit of fire, lion's mouth, or a meat grinder? That's, that's multiple places. Yeah. Unless there's a pit of fire inside the lion's mouth, and in the middle of the pit, there was a bed of nails. That was mostly what pissed me off about that first Narnia movie. <laughs> what? When they're like, Tilda Swinton's like, I'm going to murder this lion. But first, shave him. Like, Why? Who cares? There's a great sound clip in there for whoever wants to cut out Ryan saying, shave him. <laughs> <laughs> shave him. <laughs> shave <laughs> that <laughs> man's <laughs> <a> mane. <laughs> Do you know who voices the lion in that in those movies? Yes, yeah, Liam Neeson. This is Liam Neeson. Seems odd. It is a little weird. Why? When on the subway, it's polite to give up your seat to the man with his penis out or anybody who looks like they may have a knife. Which is everyone. I will give up my man. seat to both of these people. I don't like to sit on the on the train. I've never ridden a Train. You've never ridden a train? I live in awesome. Texas. You've never been on a train? I mean, a monorail, but not a train. <laughs> what is it? Monorail. Monorail. Oh. The right. man with his penis out. 51 to 49. You should give up your seat to the half ass Twitch streamer. <clears throat> What most people don't know about ostriches. Their scientific name or they're addicted to strawberries. I've heard that before, yeah. Might as well face it, you're addicted to strawberries. <laughs> Too many syllables. <laughs> you know who sings that song? <laughs> Rob. Oh, Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. It's one of the ones I can never remember. I Yay, can't believe. I won Tavern Brawl. Oh, nice. First try. I had 29 health. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker. Easy. Well, I live under a rock? No, I own a car. <laughs> Whoa, easy there. <laughs> I own a car. I still ride the subway every day. Yeah, Wrecked. same here. Their scientific name wins. It would be very surprising if they made a movie all about the life of B movie or blank. Oh my lord. <laughs> 2,000 points for Austin. Ah, deserved. Yep. That was a top tier answer. <laughs> the weirdest label you could have on a moving box. Functional smokeware, bring to baby's room, or no answer. I only got him out of the way That's quick. That's a great, <laughs> weird thing to say. Okay, I so kind of like... I was confident that functional smokeware could have beaten anything it came up against. Yeah, it's it's good. Well, the good I news can... is, like, anyone could win this final section, except Crandor. Nah, he has an outside shot. It would be pretty amazing. If literally nobody votes for anyone but his answer that he can't submit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think you can vote for it, either. Yeah. Complete this word lash task. Come up with a new hilarious sitcom with this word in its title. Trout. I'm so happy we played this Factorio series in a group, because this is, like, so much to manage on your own while trying to think of words. 
<laughs> it's very complicated, but I like it. <clears throat> oh, it's bad, man. It's Batman. Batman. Well, this answer is actually nonsensical. <laughs> so is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's <laughs> not. <laughs> what? I mean, I gotta do it. But what? <laughs> We Krendor. need to vote for Crendor so Crendor wins. I don't even think you can vote you for Crendor. You can't. No, vote it doesn't. No answers. It, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna be honest though. Hearing what I've heard, I, don't, I think it's a good chance anyway. <laughs> Inside and trout side, a fish out of water. Girl meets trout. <laughs> teapot, short and trout. Trout under fire. And we only have... Oh, we can only vote for two things. I mean, this is not very good. <clears throat> hmm. Trout under fire, though. Come on. You big Grace under fire fan, Nick? Trout under fire! <laughs> nah, it's just the first thing that came to mind. I'm thinking I mean, cooking I trout. Like inside and trout side, to be honest. It doesn't make sense, but I like it. Inside and trout side... Blew his house with a blue little oh, window. That's where you were going. <laughs> and a blue Corvette. And everything was blue for him. And his trout's off. No. It'd be nice if someone just put, like, smoked salmon as their answer. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Inside and trout side. Looks like it's taking a W there. Well, the Crandor is in either. last. <laughs> Attempted. Trout under fire, girl meets trout, teapot, short and trout, and inside and trout side, a fish out of water. It's probably like the worst quiplash segment we've ever had. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were off today. Yeah. Sorry. You know, maybe it's just the prompts. The bad, yeah. bad prompts. Austin won by 80 points. Nice. I don't know if I should feel good about that, though.